I want a sandwich. Now. Oh, sandwich wench. Yo, wench. Sandwich. Now. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to need a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. Damage. Hello, people. Hope you're all well today. Hope you're having a marvellous Monday. Easter Monday, I believe it is. Hope you're having a great day. Don't mind me. We uh, thought what we'd do. Yes, I've, have I changed the scene? I have. Is, um, well, go over well, the past two years. This is only meant to be a backup channel. It's now its own entity, which I like. Quite happy with myself. I I wouldn't mind a sandwich to Ali. Hello, MJ. Hello, Ali. Hope you're both well today. Not going to lie, I wouldn't say no to a sandwich. Yeah. Um. So what I thought I'd do... Hello, Samantha Victoria. Hope you're well. Or is it Samantha? Hello, Muck. Um, <coughs> sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> first live you caught in a while. Well, I'm glad you have. I'm really... I'm, I'm glad. Um... I didn't think I was going to stick this channel out, to be honest, because, um, yeah, the main channel is Omegon. That's the focus for me. It's my uh, job, right? Um, this was meant to be a backup because we thought we'd been shadow banned. And now I do pretty much, what, response videos here? Yeah. What's my favourite kind? The kind that's made by literally anyone else. Yeah. I don't have a favourite. That helps. Um, although I did make a steak sandwich on Christmas Eve that was quite nice. Ribeye sliced nicely. Was it a rump? Doesn't matter. It was sliced nicely. Some Stilton, some mushrooms, a little bit of onion. Worked really well. Oh, and of course some uh, barbecue sauce. <clears throat> Hello, Bubbly Production. Uh, do tell me in the chat what your favourite kind of sandwich is. We will, of course, judge you harshly. Tomato sandwich, nothing wrong with that. And we're certainly not going to judge people's individual uh, preferences. So yes, two years ago, I made this place. It was either going to be a Megon 2 Electric Boogaloo or a Megon 2 Folly, or a Megon and then Folly Adu, uh, the madness of two, um, to re-upload all my content that wasn't being seen by so many people. Uh, I then decided to start uploading content here anyway, and eventually grown it into. I mean, if I made more videos here, this could actually be like what my main channel was, a full-time job. Uh, it's just time constraints are against me and I can't do that. I did want to grow a bit more than I had so far, if that makes sense. Uh, Jake from State Farm, thank you for the for the, um, the $10 donation. I really appreciate that. I really do. Uh, I should just say it's not going to go towards that goal, though. But I do appreciate that's incredibly generous of you. And yes, um, a swell hunk of man, I know. I can't help it. I'm swell. <laughs> I'm in better shape than most of the uh, creators I um, have been crapping on of late. Uh, hello, Yempi. Hope you're well. Um, yeah, if I had more time and was less ADD, uh, I'd probably be able to make more videos here, which I, I, I want to, to be honest, because I don't feel as um, constrained, if that makes sense. Jake is wearing hot pants. Nice. Uh, hello, Diary of a Recovering Fatty. Uh, I like steak as part of a breakfast sandwich with egg, caramelized veggies, and cheese. Nice. Sounds like my steak sandwich, just with extra egg. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. 
What kind of egg are we talking? We're talking like omelette? We sunny side up? Or what, 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 don't say Benedict. Don't do that. Don't poach it either. Just no. We'll have less of that. Um, what I thought I'd do uh, today, uh, thank you, Shirayuki. I can't remember how to pronounce your first name. Uh, I thought what I'd do is go through um, comments on the video today in case there's anything there to address. I also have some videos I've held on to for a while that I haven't had a chance to look at to see whether or not they were video worthy. And I thought we could do it live. Yeah. Um, so, for example, um, the video today is called Positively Accepting Body Denial. Yeah. Uh, it's a complicated, uh, it's unnecessarily complicated for a title. Here it is. Um, because I've stupidly um, not included, um, uh, I've not given it a title it needed, if that makes sense. Um, so I thought I'd go through these quick and address any comments. Uh, oh, Yempi. Um, oh, Decimator, is that what you are? Oh, I remember now. Thank you. Um, ciabatta, toasted, pesto, mozzarella, tomatoes, maybe some arugula. What's arugula? What's arug what's, what is that? I know what mozzarella is because it's crap. Tomatoes, I know what they are. I know what pesto is. I'm not, I don't really mind. I'm, I'm kind of neutral on pesto. I'm not, by the way, I'm not. Mozzarella's fine. I'm just joking. Um, over easy, hard usually if omelette. Oh, omelette if I mess up. I usually do omelette if I have it in a sandwich. Uh, always omelette because it bulks really well. Ciabatta with a baguette and kettle. Oh. I like this conversation. This is a vitally important conversation for a channel like this. Uh, we need to be able to speak openly, frankly, and honestly about um, about the value of a sandwich. So, yeah, the video the reason. Um, so, uh, the theme topic of the video is people who are clearly in denial about their situation. That's the point, right? Or is it like watercress? I'll uh, oh, rocket, right? Okay, green stuff. Fair enough. I never seen that word before, so I didn't know. Um, and the first person we cover is on the thumbnail. I've covered them a couple times in the past because they're constantly promoting this ridiculous message that just doesn't, it doesn't work. The second person is somebody I don't ordinarily have an issue with, but they are promoting an object, a tape and a glue to help lift up your tummy so that you can make your body look a bit more presentable. But that's not the point of body positivity, is it? But at the same time, this create the person in question actually has done content like this in the past saying, no, I'm, I'm fat, so this is what I do. Yeah? So that they're very accepting of who they are. Yeah. Oh, mustard. Oh, nice. I hope you enjoy all that stuff. Hello, Paul. Hope you're well today. If I've missed anyone, do say hello so I can, uh, of course, haze you. Hi, Elena. Hope you're well as well. Um, so, yeah, that was the point. I'll see if anyone in the comments has said anything Relevant, uh, two years. Nice. Hi, Violet. Um, happy anniversary. Translate to English. Thank you for that. Are these the people who preach about body positivity but say people who work out and take care of themselves fat phobic? So what do we do? Do we accept each other's differences or do we denounce people with more fit physiques? Um, typically, I would um, I would accept each other's differences. That's my stance because I firmly believe. Uh, it is your body. It is your choice, right? Nothing wrong with being hungry, Aldi. Nothing wrong at all. Um, hello, Lego my ego. Hope you're well. Um, yeah, ordinarily I believe in that. Because I don't really want to tell people what to do with their body. If you, though, are going to use your platform to tell others what to do with their body or how they should live, which the very first person I covered in this video did, um, then I'm allowed to criticise you. Because you did, uh, the person who was on the thumbnail, Thank you, Bri. I appreciate that. The person in the thumbnail did say that uh, if you are doing this and making others feel guilty, you're a terrible person, essentially. And I, I don't agree with that. I think that's a very negative mentality to have, to try and have it so that you don't get to live your life unless you are living it through other people's shame. Ego, essentially. I don't agree with that. Um, so while I would ordinarily accept, uh, you know, accepting each other's differences... Um, annoyingly, apparently the latter, denouncing people with more fit physiques, is con is what is considered uh, normal and acceptable, which I don't agree with. 
Oh, burgers, you say? I, I was exciting for dinner today. I had a uh, Belvita soft bake uh, with strawberry jam in it. It was delicious. Um, next, my sister is fat and got mad at me for effectively saying that I don't want to be called fat all the time by my family. They were the type to say, oh, you're eating, you eating again. Like, I'm allowed to eat. I'm not fat. Leave me alone. She said during an argument, I don't need to exercise. No, I don't, but I enjoy, I, sorry, but I enjoy it. Do I exercise all the time? No, sometimes I don't want to, but when I do, I enjoy it. I love exercising. Um, and I like, um, I like working out. Why? I think you're the best at Sorry. Um, yeah, no, I enjoy working out. Um, I, although difference from myself and my family is I don't tell people I'm going to the gym. I don't tell people I'm going to work out. I just go. Um, I've never been the type to announce when I'm doing things um, around the house. I just get on with things, you know. You're 120 at most. Gee, you a light one. You are a very light. Um, I think at my heaviest, I'd be two of you, but I'm not that. Mercifully. Um, so... Um, shenanigans, different one from what I know. Oh, this is long. Okay. I have a pretty severe case of endometriosis. It's tissue from inside my uterus grows outside of it in my abdomen. That is horrific, and I'm so sorry for you, uh, shenanigans. Genuinely, not the shenanigans I'm thinking of, but I'm really sorry for you in that. Um, physical work to gym work. So I get that, Lego. I actually get that. Um, fear I'm, I'm a solid chunk, but I do a lot of yoga. Nothing wrong with that, as long as you enjoy it. It's all that matters. Are you, hang on, wait, are you Penguin? No. Maybe? I don't know. I'm vehemently against fat positivity. I've been overweight my entire life and I'm getting my life together. I'm glad you are. Um, everyone I knew is overweight is no longer my friend because they turned me losing weight for health reasons into I was somehow shaming them for not. I know people who um, sever contact with others. Oh, thank you for that, Elena. I really appreciate that. It goes towards a, a um, anniversary thing. I really appreciate that support. Thank you very much. Um, I know people who have severed contact with others. So um, in the online space, there was someone I knew for years, and she has Crohn's. Um, if you know what that is, you know that being vegan is incredibly difficult. You plead the fifth. I bloody well knew it. Um, <laughs> um, has issue. Can't be vegan, essentially. Um, well, this person in particular can't, but lost about five to six IRL friends because they were vegan and they refused to, to associate because of that. And it's like, that's not how this... You need to understand how different bodies can handle things, right? And yes, uh, Shiroyuki, absolutely congratulations. Um, you will smash it as long as you persevere. And don't forget, there are ups and downs. You can never always go down. Don't forget here... Just because, say you got, some people don't understand, if you go on a diet, right, and you, for over a course of the first week, you lose five, six pounds. Okay, congratulations. How much of that is fat? That's the key question here. Because if you want to lose weight, you need to burn the fat. Best way to burn that would be to focus on the areas where it, where it exists and also eat in a way that is more beneficial or conducive to weight loss as opposed to uh, or fat burning. I know some people like to cut corners with um, fat burners. I don't recommend it. Uh, I think hard work pays off. Um, and honestly, Mark, I get you. I'm, I'm self-employed, and I spend a lot of time um, cleaning and also at the computer. In my case, though, I'm lucky enough I can make that time. I don't obviously say everyone should go. I'm not Papa Swole, okay? Um, right, I have con concluded the body positivity movement is BS. What was supposed to be everyone deserves kindness, don't be mean to people, turned into I'm allowed to be unhealthy and if you don't agree with me, and, sorry, and if you don't agree and join me, you hate fat people or something. So this is actually true. Um, I know some people on my server who were a part of the OG earlier days body positivity. Problem with that, it did get perverted, it did get co-opted, it did get derailed. To the point now it is considered acceptable by modern day standards the moment you become an adult to preach the idea that you are now um, uh, a protected class within society and I I don't um, I don't agree with that if we are to teach children that obesity is a problem 
why does it stop when you become an adult? That is a contradiction I cannot, I cannot justify or reason. And I'm glad those words encourage from anyone to you. Um, I tried to go raw vegan and discovered I had food allergies. So I, uh, I, Lemon Lee, I understand that. Um, I have allergies, but mercifully, um, mine are just to things that are delicious. Um, so another thing I notice is I, as a now skinny person, don't get included in body positivity. So that's another contradiction of body positivity. Body positivity's main face is that of fat acceptance, because several skinny people make up one body positive person. Uh, their voices are a minority. I was a thick curvy girl, loved it and rocked it. I'm now a twig with no curves and I had to learn to think I was beautiful in my new body too. Many of us and I'm not saying everyone, I'm not saying I'm immune, but we all have hang-ups with our bodies. Um, maybe our biceps aren't big enough, I don't know, shoulders aren't big enough, I don't know. I've got the abs you dream of, whatever. Um, everyone has a hang-up of some kind. There's always an aesthetic, you know, because humanity is not perfect. Cthulhu can aren't either, just to be clear. Um, but uh, that adjustment is vital to being able to move um, on and progress and be better, right? Uh, but yeah, only for helping fat people. Absolutely that. Um, go follow the diary of a recovering fatty. Everyone should do it. Um, so, oh, engagement. Congratulations, I appreciate that. Uh, I've been keto carnival for over five years. I do cheat sometimes, but I have long stints when I where I am zero carb for three to four months straight. Uh, the weight doesn't come off of me because I am in a stressful life circumstance that drive cortisol production and messes with my ability to lose weight even though I'm averaging 95% carb free. So while it works for some people to just eat less, it is more about hormones than it is about how much a person eats. That's true. If you do those um, online uh, analysis page things where you put your weight, your height, how much your activity into it, and it tries to ascertain your... Um, it ascertains how you are... Um, doing with your health how your you know what your goal should be you know, your caloric intake won't be 2200 if you're at a certain point it might be higher it might be slightly lower yeah depending on your weight as well um this is vitally important i think i think it's very important to accept that there are many different factors that make an individual unique if all you do is quit at it you're not going to go anywhere are you you're kind of gonna fumble um let's see uh by the way, I do fast time to time, and that's the only time I do lose weight. So I know of a YouTuber who actually, I think, is one of his videos on the side here. Yeah, Beard Meets Food. Beard, well, his podcast, yeah. He does intermittent fasting between his um, uh, between his videos. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, hi, Warsmith. Uh, TD. Wait, have I missed something? may not know what that means. Do forgive. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, okay. Um, put it back on via stress. Um, lose weight, working slowly, passing a father. Sorry, you, I lost that necro kitty. Uh, family rejected me of not getting vaxxed. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't um, think that is fair at all. If people don't want... Um, thank, that's what it's called, MJ. Thank you. I didn't know it was an acronym. I'm so sorry. I just know they exist. I don't know the acronym, I just know they're a thing. Um, but they rejected over not getting vaxxed. If you didn't want to get vaxxed, I, there are people in my family who didn't, and or don't, or haven't. I'm not holding it against them at all. I didn't want to, and I had ended up with two, because I wanted to go see live shows. And then they said it wasn't mandatory, and I was like, I'm going to be really angry. Trying to fight me for unfair cuts of my inheritance and being in three different lawsuits. So there's a whole story, packed on weight, stress essentially causing issues here for um, you. And I'm very sorry for that. Um, all this body acceptance has got to me. My body hasn't wanted to accept food for nearly a week. <laughs> I Okay, that, while not a joke, I found that quite unnecessarily funny. I uh, do intermittent fasting and calorie counting. So I, I weirdly, uh, I do count calories. I do. But I don't need to jot it down. I know what, I've looked at it. Okay, mathematics is one of my strong points. It really is. It explains why I kind of suck when it comes to, you know, people. Because um, generally I'm better with education than I am with anything else, really. Or painting, maybe. Models. You know, whatever. 
Um, yeah, I'm I'm sorry you had to deal with that, um, Lemon. Really am sorry. Obesity, absolutely that. Uh, boomers, yeah, I'm not back. Oh, I'm glad you aren't. If you didn't want to be that, it's Lego. Um, I know some couldn't either because of health, heart conditions that meant you couldn't. But yeah, I, I don't intermittent fast myself, but I don't eat after 7 p.m. and I don't normally eat until 9 a.m. So it could be considered a fast, but it's actually not. I just eat enough in the evening to get to that point because I go to work early, don't I? I don't have time to eat until I get back. I'm not starving when I get home anyway because I've eaten a, ma a fair amount beforehand, says the guy who had a Belvita this evening. Okay. Um, I can't imagine needing tape to lift my stomach. That's my choice to never be like this. Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. Um, like, I'm a flying squirrel from my weight loss. Oh, I like that. Cookie, thank you. Kef key. Uh, random comment. If you, I think, if you want to be fat, go ahead. But we definitely shouldn't endorse it as an overweight person myself. I've had to tell multiple people that no, it should not be accepted. Luckily... I'm just barely overweight and work to keep it that way and to revert back to a skinnier size. And finally, those, Jake from State Farm, I see you've left a comment. Lovely. These people are so pathetic. If I mute the tab quick and refresh it, there might be some additional comments. I'm not sure. Um, but I have to... No. I will not suffer... No, no, no. I don't care. 19 comments. Okay. Um, newest. Oh, Nurgle will be proud. Perfect. Oh, and... If, I think, if you want to be fat, go ahead, but we... Oh, yeah, no, that's... that's yeah, I've read that. Sorry, I wasn't sure. Uh, needing tape. Why can't I... I've refreshed it. Why are we on the Omegon account still? I'm not on the Omegon... You know what? It's fine. That's fine. <coughs> um, there we go. Let's go back here. Uh, pull up chat. Um, given my IBD, I don't poll my immune system. That's fair. Um, I'm sorry you have... I. Um, I hope, uh, oh no, no, I was con I confused IBD with IBS. Bring us socks, no ads. Um, socks isn't, uh, where's socks? There, there, it is. there she is. I um, altered the scale so that she'd be more present. You know, I'll leave her on the screen for a minute so we can talk. Um, if, I'm gonna shill, if you did want to support um, this channel um, directly, there is a link in the pinned comment at the top there. Uh, please consider doing so that way. Uh, that way YouTube don't take anything from me. Although they do. They don't. They do, though. Um, but yeah, socks. There you go. Um, I, I like eating eggs, oddly enough. Um, I know that people gave Amber crap for eating those pre-boiled ones. Um, because of how busy I am, I do buy them. Uh, but not in the vacuum seal thing. No, I buy them in a pot. It's called an egg protein pot from Tesco. And... It's probably one of my favourite go-to snacks. If I have to have... Because I don't really want to be eating. Um, I would rather not eat... Um, anything... Because uh, I, 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 I like sweet things. So I need to try and balance it out. Otherwise my sugar level gets a bit... Well, i got a fair high tolerance anyway. I hardly done. It has been two years. A bit of a strange one. But it's a sarcasm. Maybe it is. I'll get rid of the uh, video from earlier. We don't need that up anymore, do we? I'll come back here now, though. Um, I've got um, has his own special type of locker. Yeah, so Ryan, it's a weird one with him because I um, I didn't want to make videos on him at all. I didn't. Last year, I tried my best to not talk about him. I didn't want to because he and I have always been on good terms. And then he just kept on picking the wrong side. And I was like, actually, you know what? I'm going to call you out and see what happens. Because I don't think, I don't think he, he would call me out, personally. I don't think he would. Uh, hello, Liv. Hope you're well. Um, uh, deviled eggs. So I, I had a chance to try those a uh, couple of years back when my friend got married to his Texan, now uh, ex. Um, but I didn't because I was foregoing. I was, the gyms had just opened after lockdowns. And I was desperately trying to get my weight uh, to where I wanted it to be. It wasn't like I put on a massive amount of weight or anything. It was just I didn't want to be eating anything that I thought was junk food at that point. Um, I wanted to get back into the swing of a routine that made me happy. Um, oh, thank you for the donation there, Penguin. I appreciate that immensely. Very generous as well, Penguin. Um, but yeah, I... I um, uh, what was I talking about? The, um, yeah, I didn't want to make the videos on him at all. I really didn't. 
So I was like, hello, fat bloke doing stuff. Thank you. Um, so I tried to avoid uh, him. But the bad decisions, man, were horrendous. And his channel was just dying. And I'm like, fam, I, I, I'd, I had hoped, perhaps, uh, directly just saying, you're on the wrong side here. He might listen. But rather annoyingly, the only people he was listening to were um, the more well-known commentary channels. And he was leeching off of them for the views he'd get from that. And then backing off so they wouldn't be able to actually debate anything with him. And I thought, you're kind of you're kind of just baiting for views, but there's nothing long-term or sustainable about it. I get more views on this channel on a video that's shorter than he has on his live streams, I think. Let me go check. And, and I'm not trying to dab on him or anything. It's just that is what it is, isn't it? If, if you can't maintain your viewership, you've got to, you know, you've got to fix things. Let's see. Yeah, he has, his last two videos have 627 views and 551. Both from a nearly, one's over an hour, and one's nearly got a, yeah. I've uh, got to make my own mayo for deviled eggs. Ah, I don't even eat mayo. That's one of the things I really don't like. But I'm not, I'm not against it being mixed into things. I'm just not a fan. If I can get as many views on one of my videos as you can on a live stream, that's not a good sign. That really isn't, because you think view, you know, people are going to want to watch those those streams, but your streams are so politically one-sided. It doesn't help you as a creator. I made this into a uh, exclusively response video channel because I like doing response videos here. I don't have to be as restrained, right? And I'm okay with that. Finding suitable topics is never easiest. Hi, honey bats. Welcome. I uh, hope you're here for the egg talk. Yes, egg. Talk about it. How how does everyone like their eggs? What's their favourite? I had some scrambled egg last week. So uh, that was a breakfast um, buffet at the Premier Inn. We uh, Dave and I were staying at for the um, Dragon Force gig. He was still asleep. I went and got breakfast. Um, I paid for it. So bloody well, yes, I'm having it. I'd just gotten paid, actually, I think, at that point by YouTube. So I thought, ooh, let's have breakfast. Um, but yeah, I, I, when I started making the videos initially, I had hoped he'd listen, but he didn't. He just unfollowed me because I'd been... I was on Twitter as well. I was trying to get his attention to be like, fam, you got to stop this. Hi, Verity. Uh, but he just wouldn't listen. I, my favourite is still always going to be omelette. Um, but only because I'll do a three-egg omelette. I'll put some onion in there. I'll obviously cook that first. And some mushrooms. Yeah, and maybe some pepper as well, um, but orange or yellow, because I'm not big on green or red peppers. I don't know what it is about them, but the green ones, no. Uh, I'll eat them if they're in front of me, though. You can't eat eggs. I'm very sorry you can't eat eggs. Fried dippy Oh, I like a good fried egg, though. You are not the dumbest YouTuber. I don't know about that, Miss Spark with Sparkles. Hope you're well, but I haven't seen you around in some time. Hope life is treat. Oh, my knuckle went. Well, hope you're all doing marvellously today. Uh, we've just gone through comments for um, uh, today's video on this channel. I thought, yeah, let's have a little chit-chat for a bit. Um, check that out. Oh, please do. Uh, mayo ever. Yeah, I'm not big on mayo either, Elena. Um, I'm really not. I, I, have, I will actively avoid it. Um, I don't know what it is about mayo either. Over hard eggs cooked in olive oil with rosemary and Ooh. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Fried egg on pretzel bread. Pretzel bread. Ooh, okay. I see we've got some class in the chat here. I like your... You guys have got some rather unique taste buds. I like that. And I'm not going to judge or knock anyone that likes um, uh, deviled eggs or anything with mayo, by the way. Hi, Vice Hella. Hope you're well. Um, peppers have no taste to me. So peppers do for me. It's the red and the green ones that bugger my... Uh, the green one I just don't like at all. I'll eat it, but I just don't. Other flavours, thankfully, will hide it, so I don't mind. Uh, her cousin has a phobia of eggs. I had a um, cousin that was afraid of... Oh, they, they were afraid of... No, a housemate was afraid of balloons. What condiment do you use? I don't typically with eggs. Um, I'm English. We, we English don't do flavour. Um, we're kind of, you know... We're bland. It's in our genetics. It's actually next to our X's and our Y chromosomes. For those that have them, that is. Um, we we have one that underneath just says N-O and then catsup. 
we don't have cats. Although HP sauce is pretty good. HP sauce or brown sauce. Yeah, they're pretty damn good. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring us over to screen capture again. Because uh, socks. But also because on display capture, I have VLC player up. See? VLC. I rendered a bunch of videos that I have had sat on food is so beige. I'm going to make my, my chair squeak. That's for you, Penguin. That's for you, Penguin. Um, I have about four to five videos. I can't remember what any of these are. Okay. But I did bother to look this person up. And I had to re-render this because I noticed that um, at the end of the video, I, their TikTok, I went to their TikTok and found they'd uploaded another video on the same day. So after this rage, we have something else. Um, yeah, they did post it. Um, and yes, for socks, socks, socks. Marmite's all right, but I'm not, that's more, my dad, my dad likes Marmite. I'm not really the biggest Marmite. I'll eat it again, but yeah, damn right retro. It was either this or the Windows one. I didn't want to use them. I hate watching videos on this thing. Uh, it is indeed a chair. Well, yes, my chair squeaks a lot on uh, Twitch. For those who don't know, I stream on Twitch uh, and I rock on my chair a fair bit because I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a fidget. Uh, Mark, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, because I'm a fidget, it kind of gets a bit out of hand. Um, but yeah, I don't. This one says here uh, yelling and transphobia regarding dead naming. Now. Um, who's this penguin? Certainly can't be me. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I apologize immensely for being like that, and I'm very sorry if it caused any inconvenience to you. Sorry. Um, I also don't like green bell peppers. Yay, I'm not alone. Thank you, Ali. Two years on the two tubes is like 25 years in real life. It might feel it might feel that way with some people. Um, that does remind me, I, I'd actually looked up some old friends from secondary school the other day, because I was looking at an old photo from when I was in secondary school, and their names were there, and I was like, we're not friends, I'm going to look you up. And I thought, it's been 20 years, and I have not, some of us have aged quite well, others have aged quite badly. Um, I, I think I f fall more in the well area, because I haven't had kids, and that's why I think a lot of people have aged a lot harsher than some, because of life in 20 years does that to you. You know, it changes you know, how hard your life is. That will happen. Um, I found that quite... Uh, it's a nice... Like, I, I was curious. And I, I... It was nice to see their faces again. Even if I didn't add any of them as friends. Um, so, um, dead naming is the idea of using the person's biological... Uh, using the name that they were given by their parents. Um, <coughs> God, she has April Fool's. Your mum's a punk. Your mum is a punk. I like that. I've seen a few videos today on YouTube of people doing April Fool's stuff. It's good. I, I like the people making the effort. I was tempted to do one called Content Constable Count Dankula and just have, like, Gandalf doing the head bob to the saxophone tune over and over again. Um, but yeah, dead naming is using the name that they were given and not the name that they choose. The individual, that is. This one is called... Um, Oh, spooky, spooky, ooky dude on TikTok. Don't go and follow them. Don't hassle them. Please don't. Um, and Lego, I have rickrolled uh, Leona, a uh, wildling, one of my lovely mods. Um, I've rickrolled her in VC at least four times. I've done it, and she sat there going, wait, what are you doing? And I've gotten to the end, and she's like, oh my god, you rickrolled me. And then got angry. I'm okay with that. Don't turn the volume up. Don't turn the volume up. Um... Gender is no longer a thing at this rate. Well, I've seen um, Scotland passed a uh, bill, didn't they? Do you know? Yes, I do know who Short Fakutaku is. Yeah, they're a creator. I know who they are. Um, they passed a bill, and many have today as uh, some kind of hate crime bill. Uh, Yusuf, Hamza Yusuf, the um, Scottish First Minister person, said it was to protect, you know, speech. But actually, it's to hassle, harangue, to bully, um, uh, bully everyone else. Um, oh, Dave said he can join. I'm going to join a VC. Hang on. Um, sorry, my friend Dave might be able to join us if he hasn't already got his food. 
um, yeah. Um, so Scotland um, have been passing this silly bill, and essentially it just makes it so that people are um, uh, going to get prosecuted for insulting politicians, essentially. Uh, but Leona is at work at MJ, or Penguin, uh, being rickrolled. I like I like the rickroll thing. I actually, in my um, first or second Essence of Thought video, uh, in the sources, I is the second one, I think, I linked Essence of Thought's video in the pinned comment. It's not. It's either a Dragon Force song, <laughs> Gandalf bobbing his head for 10 hours, a Glory Hammer song, or it's a Rickroll. And I can't remember. Um, I can't remember which. Um, oh, you're there, Dave. Good evening. Hi. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Alright, you got your food? Uh, still in progress. Oh, okay. I took my time replying to you. How was your day today? How was your Easter Monday? Yeah, not too bad. Choir at work today, so... It was, Yay! Uh, with that. Sounds exciting. Currently, currently raiding the uh, whiskey collection to see what I'm bringing for the streams next week. Oh! I was I was looking at options for um, if we're able to hit my two year of a boogaloo goal, um, what I would get uh, as a two year celebratory, and I was considering an Israeli whiskey. Oh yeah, if, 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 well, if we hit the goal, uh, Marilla Cuthbert, thank you for the d donation. I really appreciate that. Sadly, it doesn't go towards the the boogaloo goal, I'm afraid, because um, YouTube take a massive cut. But I really am genuinely very grateful for that. Thank you so much. Um, they're trying to pass a similar bill in Canada. I'm not surprised Canada are you kept guy in his live stream pretending not to hear him out. I like that. I like that, Ryan. Um, and Dave is definitely not on OnlyFans. He makes enough money to not require such um such a thing. <laughs> Dave wishes. Dave is still not on OnlyFans, but he wishes he made that much money. Well, yeah, whiskey's king. It is. But sadly, the one I'm thinking of is very close to the, the top of that uh, the Streamlabs goal. Um, yes, um, and the Streamlabs is linked in the pinned comment if anyone would like to uh, um, uh, enable this grifting to continue. Um, how was your weekend? Yeah, busy. Well, work busy. Um, yeah. Sunday was nice and chill. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. And yes, very sad days. Uh, well, I did sod all. Not even I. I real. I just did some tidying up, and that was it. Really, I didn't have any video stuff I had to do, so I just tidied up and watched a movie. And I had to keep pausing and rewinding it so my niece could uh, watch the um, uh, the best bits uh, that she kept. Getting, she kept getting called away. Oh, oh okay. Every oh, five minutes. Heaven forbid she enjoys herself. Uh, you say that, Miss Sparkles. You can't handle it. That's fair because the one I'm looking at, I'm not convinced Dave and I could handle it. Dave doesn't know this yet, but it's actually got the highest ABV of any whiskey he and I have ever seen. Ooh. The highest we'd seen was Mana Swords made by Anandale at 65%. Okay. Very well, interested. The one I found is Israeli, finished in port casks at 66.2%. Yeah. Is that a milk and honey one, by the chance? Yeah. That was on my list. It's on my list. That was the one on my list for um, the whiskey shop. What was it? Yeah. Well, it's on my current list uh, for if we hit the two years of a boogaloo. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll not. but if I if I don't, obviously I'll go somewhere else. How high? Sixty six point two or sixty six point four? One of those two. Uh, yeah. I've only got one that comes close, and that's my old Pulsini single cask at sixty four point two. I believe it is. I have a Brickladic in this medicine bottle here, which is sixty three. Yeah, I've well, we have the um, uh, the um, Octomos as well. They're quite high. Um, yeah, true. But I've only got the only, only other sixty I have is uh, the Glenfar Class one hundred five, sixty percent exactly. Mm -hmm. Will it be on the next whiskey stream? It'll be on the next Discord one, perhaps. <laughs> Sit there on a Sunday evening and just be like, we would do samples, but something came up. <laughs> but of course, I'd need uh, to hit the goal first, sadly. Kilcher Kilcher man, is that Eileen? Kil Kilker man, it's an yeah. Isla, yes. Sweet. Um, but I would point out our list of Isla is quite high. Yes, I may be adding to it. Okay, sweet. It's a Sunday, I guess. I like fruity drinks. I get gone too quick and have to to. That's fair. I mean, I understand that as well. Um, 
And for those who are curious, Dave, hello, Bill the Skaven. Um, Dave and I do whiskey streams on Whiskey Live uh, called Not Worth a Cork. We have a stream planned for this Saturday um, entitled The Iridescent Isle of Isla. Uh, because Isla produced the produce the most well known smoky and whiskey uh, peated whiskies on uh, on in the world, um, and uh, that's a fascinating one for me. Um, so I last year when I hit one on this channel, I bought a. The reason I chose I've, I've, I'm trying I'm, I wanted to get Israel this year is because last year I bought Sweden, uh, a Swedish whiskey called Haven, uh, H V E N, and um, I thought, oh, if I'm going to stick with the international. I could try that. Um, Glenfiddich 20. Um, I've never had 20. I, I know they do a 21. Um, I didn't know they did a 20. If they did a 20, I've never had it. Dave made it. I am in all... Yeah, Dave is here, I believe. Yeah. MP. Hello. Hey, MP. Yeah, there is a yemp in the chat. Um, that, that, that is imp impressed you're here. Although, to be fair, I didn't know you'd be here until I saw the um, alert saying you'd like you'd be okay to join. I didn't yeah. even know you were doing the stream, so I just saw I, her and I was like, oh, well, I'm, I'm chilling. I can, uh, when I raided Sithy after Sithy. Twitch, I joined his VC, had to re-enter because obviously Discord's a dickhead to me. Uh, and then I just started saying uwu and daddy just to annoy one of the people in his chat. Oh, Duarts or Dewars, Warsmith? I know Dewars is a whiskey. Um, D-E-W-A-R-S. That's an Irish one, I think. Um... Because they've done, there's a you can get a 15 year old um, version. Oh, thank you, um, Honey Bats. <clears throat> thank you very much for that donation. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> I um, made a list last night of 12, I think, and currently, based on that amount, we are we are able to acquire the one I put at the bottom of my list, which I can't pronounce. I go, sorry, come back here a second. Put socks on the screen. Uh, I will go and tell you what it's. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm gonna t I'm gonna type it. I, I mean, Dave might be able to pronounce it. I don't know if he does. I'll I'll DM it to him, see if he can pronounce that. If anyone knows how to pronounce, anyone knows how to pronounce. Sorry. David. Sorry. Tianish. Okay, let's find out. Is pronounced. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck off with all the things. Tina Nick. Tina Nick. Tina Nick. Okay. Tina Nick. Yeah. Right. That is. Also, I don't want to um, throw a major spanner in the works, but I have a 63% either. Which one is that? That is the medicine bottle. Uh, Brucladic. Oh yes, the one I, I was meant to get, wasn't it? We'd, we'd spoken about that. We're not going to touch that. You know we can't. No. Nah, that, 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 that one I've got yeah, I'm just I, loading on. That would, that would kill us. We'll pile up all the whiskeys, and then we'll, we can see which ones we want to add. I'm just getting well, all the... Yeah, yeah, we'll work control. it out. Hi, Fubar Freak. Hope you're well. Hope everyone's having a marvellous day. Um, uh, don't show your faces while trying whiskey because I love watching faces. Sadly, we don't because neither of us want to be docked. But I do. We are going to be once Dave learns how to use his hands properly. We're going to get a camera for the bar, um, so Dave's hands will be visible. So there's less chance he'll knock the camera over or blow candles into it. Yes, there is, there is some some restrictions there with Dave. Um, Dave's hands will be visible, but Meg's won't be because Meg has to actually run the stream. Um, <laughs> So it's gonna be a, we're gonna to have to work it out once I'm able to buy a, web, a webcam in the future. Um, but we will start working on that after <clears throat> after May, I think, because Dave's going away in May. We're doing two streams next well next week, week uh, this week and the next. It says two wet Saturday, and Wednesday. Um, but um, Dave's not. I don't think you're back until June. June at a push, possibly July. Yeah. Depends. What well, July is a bit of a weird one because obviously I'm going to yours anyway. Yeah, she'll come to mine and then I'm coming to yours and camping. So, yes, that could be an interesting one. Yes, that'd be very interesting. Or, Meg doesn't have hands. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He has tentacles. Just put stuffed peppers in the oven. Oh, nice. What colour peppers, though? Because only the correct ones are okay. In case we had Ooh, this discussion okay. earlier, how do people like eggs? How do people like their peppers? I mentioned I put peppers in omelettes sometimes. 
And I'm not really big on red or green. I'll eat them, I'm just not big on them. You'll eat all of them, yeah. if memory serves. Uh, yeah, I like pepper. Yeah, I do too. I just don't know why red ones give me a... Hor green gives me a horrible aftertaste, and the red ones just don't sit nice. Um, tip as a thank you, fingers crossed for shiny dark crack armor. Well, fingers crossed for that, Ryan. I really appreciate the donation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, red, orange, and yellow. So uh, orange and yellow, yes. Green, no. Red, if it's in front of me, yes. Otherwise, no. Um, I was mentioning like uh, earlier. We started the stream by talking about favorite sandwiches. Uh, Dave, what's your favorite sandwich? Oh. I know the answer. What's your favorite one? Chicken, bacon, and stuffing, probably. Wait, that's what you go with? Not the manwich or the or the the, the steak oh, sandwich? The oh, I didn't realize we were counting that. Oh well, obviously I mean, yes, obviously the manwich. Manwich, yeah, okay. Well, I, I mean, so if, I you're gonna, if you're going to buy a pre-made sandwich, yes, I'll agree with that one hundred percent. Or that um, chorizo one you've gotten before, the chicken chorizo, is that it? Or with the chicken and the chorizo, is it? And the chicken cheese and something. Mm. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Chicken, cheese, right. and chorizo. Uh, video tips I've watched half a month. Oh, I'm glad you like him, Sparkles. Miss Sparkles. Meg has ha has halves noodles, not hand. That's true. 100%. Meg's hands are too uh, moist. Very true. <laughs> Meg doesn't. Meg, uh, Dave doesn't know how to use his hands. Meg doesn't know how to use. Uh, sorry, Dave doesn't know how to use his mouth either, apparently. But thankfully, the damage has been cleared since with a credit card, I think. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to. Um, in the interim, while you're um, away, I'll be buying the, um, at the end of this month, I think, I'll get the varnish to um, do the top of the bar. Um, and okay. the sides, and I'll, well, the sides will be treated differently, of course. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing that uh, soon, which would be nice. Onion rings and roast beef, that's your favorite. Uh, oddly enough, we're, we are 100% on your side there. Um, yeah. As long as they're crispy, uh, clip that, clip everything, just clip it all. I don't mind. Um, more clips, the better, I think. Make it perverted. Well, we can make it perverted, but there's a socks on the screen, they'd rather not. Uh, manwich is meal. I, I'd agree, but it depends on how thick the manwich is. Um, oh, no, I don't need that right now, do I? Let's go back here a second. Um, so anyway, yes, um, I'm gonna go back on topic for a minute. Um, we've been at this for two years. Um, I had hoped, I was trying to last year to get this channel up to 10,000 subs. Didn't do it. That's fine. Uh, that'll be this year's goal. Um, and no, I'm not going to use that as an excuse to then go to eBay and buy, or Etsy and buy a freaking play button for it. Please. <laughs> We're not... I mean, it'd be hilarious to have, but at the same time, no. Uh, I think that would uh, defeat the point because I've made it quite clear on streams and other places, I'm sure, um, that um, I would like to earn a second play button if possible, because uh, this is my job and I want it. My, my wall is very spartan with, with awards. It needs another one. Um, okay, we'd have to mo I'd have to move a rather expensive bottle of whiskey I won and another one <laughs> I won, but I could do it. But this channel being that I only upload once a week, it will take a bit longer, which... I'll be honest, I don't really mind too much. Uh, as long as I don't change how the button looks when I earn a second one, I don't really mind. Cause I think, <laughs> that would annoy your OCD. Oh, I'd, I would go to Etsy and just order one that way then. <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> I, I'd be like, I, I'll pay the 80 or eBay or whoever it is. Just make me another one of those. I, it's totally fine. I put the, the one I, I earned into like a box somewhere and hide it just or put it in, you know, that wooden box I have in my cabin, the one I have all those like, random keepsake things. It can yeah. go in there, you know. My play button doesn't fit in there anyway, actually. Saying that because they changed the play buttons originally, they were um, a framed object with um, uh, framed object. Uh, it's like a little. Um, I don't know how to describe it actually. It was. It looked all right, but it was kind of. Uh, I'll. I'll, I'll um, get a picture. The play button just looked. It just looked old and silly. Um, Actually, that kind of has all the play buttons on it. That'll work. I'll send it to you, Dave, so you can see. Um, or, yeah, I'll send it to you. Because you. Um, it's not, you know, it, it wasn't, it was something I wanted. I remember a few creators earned that one. And um, uh, so in the image, 
it's the top left one. Um, it was just a frame thing. I prefer the newer. One. I prefer the newer one now because of how. Um, it's just me, but your audio is cutting in and out. It might be. Um, might be. Got to leave soon. Oh, I, I, we were, but Dave's joined, and I can't. I don't know if I can get away with it. We can do that. We can do that. Actually, let's do that. I'll, I'll put a video. Um, a video on. Let's pull that. I do apologise. Um, where is it? Fair, my food is on the way, so I will have to disappear in due course. That's all right. Uh, right. So this video was uh, dead naming related, and I haven't watched it. I just know they did a follow up on the same day. Um, uh, Rubens have corned beef, and Rachel has Rachel, and the Rachel has turkey. I. Th Wait, what? What's Rubens? You know what? I'm gonna leave you to that. Um, yeah, beyond the dead naming, I don't really know what this video is about, but I know that there's, an, there's, a, there's a bit of swearing here already, so I'm expecting some pointless rage in someone's car, uh, because last week I would said that I had this video, again, somebody getting angry in their car, because that's a typical trend for TikTok, where people will just sit in their car, scream about something that happened, and act as if we're meant to believe them. Right, so, um, how do I press play? Fucking rant. Okay. Universal Labor Support just fucking called me. If anyone knows um, what Universal Labor Support is, do let me know. Where do you not apologize? I'm sorry about that uh, for not, you know, giving you adequate warning and apologies again for any um, uh, irritation that might well cause you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And the first thing they fucking did is fucking dead name me. So. If on their records they have uh, any union or any representative, any company, is only the name you used to go by, then you have a point about, then, sorry, you do not have a point when it comes to criticism about being called by your old name, okay? If it is on their record that they, you go by a newer name um, that perhaps has legal change to it, I hear you can do that with something called a deed poll. Um, then perhaps there is some merit. I don't like the idea of people telling me that their name is something, but it wasn't their name to begin with. Now, what I mean by that is, it's a well really good making it a point to change your name societally, but from a from a um, legal standpoint, you should just change your name legally, right? That way, you can't be dead named because it's legal. You just need to make sure the companies involved that you are associated with know that that is your name. Sorry, I had to take a little sip of water. Sorry, 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 sorry. If you want me to stop saying sorry, MJ Penguin, just, 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 just keep, just keep being here. You know, I'll stop eventually. Uh, let's see, uh, on a short, oh, did you? Ah, employment agency, I did not know that. Love that, we're off to a really fucking good start. How exciting. They ask if I'm available for a fucking shift. In nine fucking weeks, they have not fucking scheduled me. But were you ready for a work? Or were you angry about the dead name? Yes, cancel Meg, absolutely. After you all give me your money so I can buy a really nice bottle of whiskey from Israel. Not to, not to support them, but because it's really, really strong and it's port cask finish. And petered. And we need it for science. All the science. First of all, First of all mostly okay. everyone who calls from labor support knows me as fucking Matt. So, is it on the system, though? They may know you as that, but is it on the system? <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, that is a legit apology for coughing. I didn't mean to. Um, yeah, no, if it's not, you haven't specified if it's on their system yet. So I don't know whether I'm meant to support you or not yet, Max. Sorry, spooky ooky dude. Not fucking dead name. Bit rude. Your parents gave you that name. Getting off to a really fucking good start right there, are do you know how to talk without being so rude? I, I had to learn when streaming that if I want to maintain a level of monetization, I have to um, reduce the profanity uh, representation, um, which does mean that profanity has become a verbal minority. Hydrate, sir. Well, I do have some whiskey left in my uh, glass here that has a bullet in it. Uh, I'll have some of that. And It's not a good one tonight. Yempy did me dirty and gave me the town of Ulin. Bad, Yempy. I have Highland Park. Which one? Twelve. Acceptable. We. Second. Okay, Second. Well, Pretty well, much. Well, chicken pizza. Okay. Everyone I talk to like, knows about my fucking Sound situation. Two away, oh. So. oh, okay. I'm going to pull back sure. slightly because I, I, I paused and, yeah. 
Um, I hope your pizza's delicious. Day after. Right. Yeah, it's TikTok Pizza just. Express. Sorry. Yeah. It's from Pizza Express. Are they so any hopefully. good? I haven't had theirs. Since... I've had a lasagna from them, not pizza. I went to that the restaurant in the forum. Yeah. I went to the forum on, on, on a date uh, back in like 2008. Yeah, mm -hmm. the lasagna's good. The wine was good there too. Can't remember what I had. I just remember going to see a film with um, Ross Geller in it, I believe. Was it him or Matthew Perry? I don't know. A movie, a marathon movie, I think, or some kind. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Does it no, have pineapple, no pineapple on it? Penguin. Hey, you like, that penguin, tell him off. <laughs> Happy birthday on the night. Oh, sorry. He has to say happy birthday on the night in demon voice before we do the cancelling. Yeah. I think Dave's Pizza's here. Really fucking good start right there, aren't right. we? Let's get on with this. Second. Pretty much everyone I talk to knows about my fucking situation. So I looked up their TikTok channel. They have been dealing with homelessness and unemployment issues for a while. Uh, and of course, as someone that has been through both, I would never seek for even a moment to downplay that. Um, I'm not going to downplay, I'm not going to denigrate what you go through in that respect. Again, because of lived experience, I know this. Unemployment especially. Well, granted, I have technically been self-employed for 10 years. That for about great. four of them, it was incredibly difficult because I was barely making enough to get by. I still had to borrow money off some lanky dickhead from Norwich. Hi, Dave. Has he left me? I've been abandoned. Here eat, um, but I will put food nudes on the server. Fantastic. Enjoy your food, mate. Howdy. Have, have a good Bye. stream. Bye. Hi, G-Dubs. All right, let's carry on with this, shall we? Um, yeah, no, I understand the homelessness. I understand unemployment. Um, and I don't wish it on anyone. You have been struggling, and obviously, if any opportunity presented itself to help yourself, absolutely... Yeah, but I think hyper-focusing on something that is, let's face it, in the grand scheme of homelessness and unemployment, inconsequential, um, doesn't make you look any better. Although it is the most viewed video on your channel now, this is. Um, and you've not done many videos on your TikTok. And you don't have many followers. You've gotten a lot of views uh, from anger. They know that I'm homeless. It's not like I have a bed I can fucking crawl up in and take a nice fucking goddamn nap. Make people nap. I'm an insomniac. Um, you also did another job that was hard labor, right? Um, yeah, I've done manual labor jobs. I do cleaning work still. This may be my full-time job as a YouTuber, which doesn't sound like a job really, but it is. Um, but I I do the cleaning work still. I still do it because I it's money. I like I like earning it. I don't have a fucking accessible shower. Yeah, I can tell from the hair. I don't have anywhere to keep my fucking dog. Yeah, so I understand the gravitas of how difficult your situation is. I really do. I don't really care if you're going to now try and use that to simultaneously, like, weigh up your... your no, no, weigh up. You're using it as a way to make your situation seem horrendous so you need to be shown respect. Right? That's what you're doing. Uh, rage baiting. I do think there's an error aspect of it because the thing with people who do these videos, they all have very soft voices. They can't do anger. They really don't have the vocal um, range for that. Since they don't really have the sincerity either. It's more of a I'm under pressure. I can't handle an iota of it. And I think it's it is definitely a personal problem for the individual. Uh, Socks is awesome, Ryan, 100%. Uh, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, and Dave's pizza looks good, does it? Yeah, Dave Dave does do good takeaway. He's a bit of a slut for it. All right, carrying on. We have a few videos, but we've got like five or six, I think. And they're trying to fucking schedule me on Sunday. Okay, what's wrong with that? Is it a day of rest? No fucking notice. Nobody calls me and says, hey, yo... We want to schedule you now. I mean, they gave you nine weeks notice, technically. Tons of people live out there, live um, live out there, live in their cars or vans intentionally, and they have pets. That's true, actually. There are people who do that on YouTube, and they make a whole thing out of it. Uh, in fact, 
if you could, Spooky Yuki Dude, I would highly recommend you consider doing that and not hyper-focusing on the dead name aspect or the what you've dubbed transphobia. Because I think if you can show people the other side, if, if you have the money for your fun and internet access, you could upload videos to YouTube. And that might actually um, help you as a creator and um, expand your ability to be better. You're back, nobody panic. We stopped panicking now. We were worried. And safe travels. Uh, Leona, hope you have a safe journey home. Um, yeah, no, if you if you can be more creative and less volatile, instead of raging for views, which, by the way, doesn't drive up sympathy, people aren't going to donate to you. You haven't got the um, links on your TikTok for that either, so it seems redundant, really. Why not instead apply yourself in a positive way? I need to see you guys. <sighs> Sorry. Apply yourself in a positive way and hopefully be able to make that into something that could be sustainable for you as a career. You're already building a TikTok channel. You got 230 followers, I think. I think it's that. But you still have followers, which means you have a baseline. You can build from that if you want on TikTok, or you can take that and have it upload to YouTuber Shorts as well. Learn to spread your... Uh, Sticks Hexenhammer is a YouTuber. He's, he's mentioned you should always be present on multiple platforms. I have my YouTube accounts. I have them all upload to Rumble, although I've had to do it manually now. Thank you for gifting a membership, somebody. I really appreciate that. Um, you, I have Rumble. I have BitChute. I have Odyssey as well, which is an auto-upload. BitChute's auto-upload as well. You should always be present. Uh, don't have privilege of being a <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You don't have that privilege. But apparently, because you have access to TikTok, this is your Dear Diary, your Wattpad, your Tumblr account. No. They ask if I'm available to their fucking needs. That's how employment works. By the way, I've worked for an agency before. Have some coffee. Or somebody, thank you for the donation. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Um, it'll have to be decaf on my part, owing to caffeine uh, intolerance now, sadly. Uh, but I really appreciate the generosity. Genuinely. Thank you so much. Um... See, uh, you're in the house where you have to do what you have to. Exactly that. When I was I, when I lost my job in Norwich, I had about seven months before I had to leave. I was desperately trying to find work. I signed up with some agencies. They got me work at doing some stuff at a train station on the on um doing refunds and stuff. Yeah, did it for three days. Easy work. Good money as well. Sadly, it wasn't enough. I also got to do some work doing processor parts for another company in Norwich because I was the right skill level for it. It was just packaging. That's all it was. But I got the job done quicker than it was meant to and I, was, I had to ask if I could have other work to do. But they didn't want that. They wanted somebody that worked at a, a slower pace. And I thought, all right, then I guess no then. Um, but you did what you had to because I needed to pay my bills. That's what you do. You don't have the... Um... <laughs> Thank you so much, somebody. I really YouTube also says thank you. I should pass that on as well. Um, for the sake of it, if anyone does want to support this channel, uh, please consider doing so via the um, Streamlabs link in the pinned comment, uh, because YouTube take every, take a big cut. No, no, no. Thank, thank you so much for that generosity. And of course, I appreciate you appreciating my generosity. Uh, my appreciating your generosity. I wasn't going to say my generosity. I said it bad. I read the comment as I was saying it. Um, thank you so much. That is incredibly generous of you. People who say they're hungry but turn their nose up for free food. If someone gives me free food, I honest to God, you can ask Dave. Um, every time food was put in front of me, I ate it. Uh, do you know about the true crime YouTuber Stephanie Harlow? Um, I know the name, but I don't know about them. Oh, jeez. I'm getting loads of things here, aren't I? Wow. Oh, dear. Awkwardness intensifies. Thank you, somebody, for another gifted membership. Oh, dear. Too much awkwardness. I can't do this. I'm going to carry on with the rage. After they fucked me over. You're so angry. For nine fucking weeks. Yeah, but they didn't F you over. They just didn't talk to you for nine weeks. Go fuck. Ah, the anger. Fuck yourself, Universal. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Thank you so much for that generosity. I really am genuinely very grateful for that. I should have put the alert up for this. I forgot. I completely forgot that this exists. That I'm super transparent. My fault. Uh, no, no, what it means is I forgot to put the alert through Streamlabs on that for it. Uh, it doesn't go towards the goal quite irritatingly. I'm really sorry about that. Fuck you for dead naming me. Okay. Fuck you for not changing my fucking name on my ID. 
Fuck you for not understanding my situation. Okay, firstly, um, changing your ID, of course, if you they knew about it, that is their fault. I agree, sure. Um, understanding your situation, I'm sure they understood it, but they are a union. They're, a, they're not there to cater to that. They are there to sort you, to give you an opportunity, right? Um, so my view is, this is an opportunity for you to do the job, prove you can do the job, do the job well, and then get more work. It's a foot in the door moment. Your dead name aspect is really, it's like a, if you consider it a factor, primary, secondary, tertiary, yeah? You are tertiary, guys, okay? Um, silver, are they okay? Um, no, they're very cross. I can in time when you have nothing. Exactly. I again, I've been in this situation, and when I was given the opportunity, I remember walking. Um, okay, so I I had an interview for a job, and it was a ten mile walk from my house. So I walked it. I had the opportunity to do the job. I walked ten miles to get to this job every single day for three months before Christmas ended, and I had no choice but to leave it. I had no choice. I had to walk it in the rain and the sleet and the thunderstorm. I hate thunder. Like, fam, you do what you must. You've got to pay your bills. You've got to be... I don't want to be... I never... So the vow I made upon going self-employed was I would never go on state benefits ever again. I would never go on welfare ever again. That's why this job and the cleaning work is so important to me. Because if I lost YouTube, I would only have that money from cleaning work. You know, and I think it's vitally important to be able to support yourself. And yes, I agree with you, Diary of a Recovering Fatty, or uh, I've forgotten your bloody name. You're on my streams as well. Um, Decimator, yes. Dessa, Dessa, that's it. I remember. Uh, we all keep using the wrong pronouns. We all do. Um, I'm just going to go with it because I want to offend everyone. Um, isn't that harder? Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't have thought it'd be that hard. I would think that because... They make it seem like they've not done any work with them. They haven't considered them a priority to change. Although I would think it would be appropriate to do so. Uh, been avoided. They just told me about the names. Yeah, I think so too. Fuck you for being transphobic. Also, if it's not a legal name change, I don't know what their union's company policy is on changing that name. Fan, and now with all the drama, people with like Illuminati. Oh, nice. Fantastic. I really appreciate that, Ryan. I am so fucking done with companies fucking us over. Oh, we're getting to the grander point, everyone. Big point now, big picture. Now, I'm going to insert a relevant point. Uh, first of all, give me your money. <laughs> Second, the, the, the point um, is that if you have problems in your own life, the big picture should be irrelevant to you right now. Because right now, your main focus should be on your career, getting your life back together, getting it on the right track, on the mend, so you as a person, can do better for yourself. And then you can help your community. Because what use are you right now, really? Getting angry on TikTok, making people look very irrational, because you're now going to represent a community, you are considered a part of it. That's what's going to happen next. You are jobless, you are homeless, you're living in a car with your dog, and I believe your partner as well. Um, if you have a legal name change, do you have to put your old name? I don't think you do. If it's a legal name change, I would have thought that you would have a form of some kind, yeah? I am so sick and fucking tired of filling out application after fucking application for loans to get money to get ahead. I'm no expert here on money. Oh, thank you, Marcy. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate that. Unprocessed cheese. Hi. Madlow would later reject his own pyramid of needs based on the evidence of how people screw over the lower needs for the higher incomes. Interesting. I didn't know that. Um, just going to, yeah, the, the thing about uh, finances here, you mentioned getting a loan to get ahead. I don't think that's how a loan works. I could be wrong. Forgive me here if I'm wrong. Uh, but I remember the good old days, people getting Wonga loans. The unbridled razor, they're not respected. They, uh, they're they the cause of their own failure, sitting in a car, screaming at the company you work for, blaming anyone, everyone else. Yeah, it's every excuse why you can't do something, isn't it? And thank you, somebody, again, for the generosity. Honestly, I never expected um, that this much generosity from you guys. Uh, and, of course, YouTube says thank you as well. Um, 
privileged people who can eat and have a roof over their heads. I wish it weren't so, but it was taken up with God. If you believe in God, then definitely do that. Um, uh, but yeah, the, the, the debt thing, uh, loans, I don't think that's... It's a tricky one, because if you're in this situation, you have very little options presented. Uh, and I understand that. Um, I do firmly believe that when opportunity presents work-wise, you take every single one. Every single one. Um, but I, but you, you in this video are indicating you've not received much. At, yeah, it's a very mm, yikes. It's yeah, but that's it. And, and live, you're right. I think this is one of those weird ones where it's from a mental a mind of somebody who I think is too immature to realise that's not how you get ahead. E begging will get you anywhere. On that note, in the pinned comment is my Streamlabs. If you want that bar of two years of Boogaloo to hit the top, donate that way. Thank you. Super chats don't count, sadly. Lending a hand to a level-headed, respectable man. I appreciate that. Ooh, thank you very much, Jake from State Farm. And yes, to get ahead. Seems appropriate there, towards the goal, to get ahead. The comment underneath seems to be apt there. Thank you very much. Income to get loans. I don't know how loans work. I've never actually taken out a loan. Um... I, I genuinely don't know how they work beyond interest on them. That's why I know that they're not quite uh, a way of getting ahead. I am so Have you worked out why, by the way, my response videos here sometimes take, uh, there's like a minute of me talking because I'm trying to understand it as well. Halfway there, I know honey bats, we're kind of smashing it. It's amazing. Oh, fucking done! This is going to get demonetized afterwards, by the way. The effing is just killing me. When will these fucking companies learn? Learn what? Are you jibbing on your own lip? The whole reason why I'm in this situation is because they don't fucking pay me enough! Oh, is that it? But are you working? Uh, it's bad, but I wrote, I wrote it. I assume loans in this case is student loans. So I would have thought that too, but I've not seen enough. I've seen a few of their videos. And I don't believe that that is applicable. I think they're genuinely after a loan. Loan. Um, but I'm not entirely convinced um, what their point... Like you mentioned I'm not getting paid enough. <sighs> this is a tricky area because each state, each country, every county, district, cost of living is so vastly different. It really is. And in some countries they have living wage, minimum wage. Some have living wage, minimum wage, and some don't have it at all. You have to negotiate your rates. It's so complicated. I do get, I am very ADD, um, Miss Sparkles. Yeah. But I have a good memory. Yeah. Ish. What was I saying? Uh, my friend destroyed her credit by the age of 20. Yeah, so I know that with people with credit cards. I had a few housemates like that, and I felt really bad for them. I have one credit card, and that's it. Um, Meg, E-F-A-P-I, and what is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, throw ducks at him. That'll do it. Thank you, Bri, because they don't pay me effing... Sorry, they don't pay... Sorry, I know it's not you, but uh, Brian donated 20 because they don't... They don't effing pay me enough. So your comment now fits... Your donation fits so nicely with that, doesn't it? Getting paid enough. It's kind of a huge part of life. It is. Um, I actually get that 100%. I had to ask for a pay rise recently with the cleaning work. Um, I say recently, in the last 12 months. Uh, and they understood once they realised how much pings were going up. They understood. Simple as that. Um... Need more money, sometimes easier said than done, but it's possible. Yeah, it, it SH agreed. Uh, and ducks, oh, quack. I like that. Um, credit union, back office, please, person here, at least signature loans without collateral tend to have higher interest rate. Oh, God, I wouldn't, I'd never get one of those now. Regulated uh, loan is guaranteed shut. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I think loans, insurance companies, and um, there's a very predatory aspect to a lot of these companies in some countries. And America is one of them as well. Whiskey is a good... It is. And Brian, it's... An, it's. An, I'll have to... If we hit the goal, I'll send you... I'll, I'll put a link to what it is I'll get. It's an Israeli whiskey. Uh, and we've never had it. It's only bottled and sold in the UK. Does this work? Uh, if so, happy to. Oh, thank you very much, Worsenary, for the, two, uh, the donation. I think I really appreciate that. Main job, most of us are hurting. Yeah, honestly, um, I, I, the cleaning work, I love doing it, even though it's work. 
I love cleaning, it's fun. Um, this is my hobby. Um, it could be argued that the job is the cleaning and this is the hobby. But I consider this the job, but I treat it like a, a hobby so I enjoy it more, you know? I like getting stuck in, I like doing this. Uh, right. And I'm not the only one! I hate living in my fucking car! Is it a Prius? I hate not being able to work! Are you sure about that? Because you moaned about you've been moaning about everything, including the fact that you had an opportunity for work. I hate not having a fucking roof over me and my partner's head. What is that over your head right now? I know what you mean by roof. I fully get it. I'm just being facetious. Um, but for the sake of it, you have something for the time being while you seek to improve your situation. I understand the stress of the situation can make us want to lash out. I highly recommend you do what others do. Uh, either bottle it up or write it down on a piece of paper and burn it. That's what I do. I keep trying doing everything I can I to fucking that live. Scenario, especially that. To have a comfortable life, but it's not fucking enough because this country doesn't fucking believe that minimum wage should be able to pay all your bills comfortably. You've actually answered it um, within your own statement. Um, and you're not going to like it, and I don't like saying this, um, but you did just say the word. The, the very uh, operative word. Um, does anyone know what it is? Um, what was the word that was uttered by Max um, that meant that they had essentially answered themselves what was causing them their problem? Uh, writing out bad. I do it all the time. Um, I have a bonfire and I'll burn it. Um, partner and a... Well, peas in a pod. Anyone know the answer? Let's see. Uh, because it's quite, it's quite, it, not necessarily obvious, but it's, it's important to acknowledge that sometimes you will say it and not realize just how important that word is. Words have meaning, don't they? If we had to respect the importance of names, then it is important to understand that it is fun. It's important to understand that if the word has meaning, then you can't ignore the meaning because of your interpretation of what that word should mean. Uh, no. Uh, minimum. That was the word. The word is minimum. You said minimum wage should be able to pay all your bills comfortably. No. Minimum wage is exactly that. That is the minimum. That pays the minimum for your life. Yeah? Yeah? If all you're able to do is earn a minimum wage, you will only be able to live a minimal life. Simple as that. I, I don't agree. I don't like that. Obviously, I want everyone to live comfortably. Of course I do. But I know that the optimal word in this is minimum, and you need something more. The only way you get more is if you actually apply yourself and push yourself and excel. Patience and hard work will always pay off. Always. But you have to be patient. You have to be stronger. Hand to mouth. I grew up living hand to mouth, G-dubs. It's how I grew up as a child. I remember that life. It is horrible. I remember having clothes. I mean, my nieces lose all their socks uh, and, and other clothes all the time. And I was saying to them the other day that I had three pairs of socks. I had like two pairs of pants as a kid. That's all I had, you know, and, and a couple t-shirts, some really horrible knitted jumpers and trousers that barely fit because I was the only boy. I got stuff from car boot sales, you know? And that's what my life was. The food was the lowest grade quality. If anyone's English and you know the company Quick Save and their own brand called No Frills, F-R-I-L-L-S, you know, you know exactly how hard it was. That, that, that was hand to mouth. It was horrible, you know? And I lived like that for most of my, a uh, fair chunk of my adult life as well when I was unemployed after uni. Just an ironic twist of fate, really. Um, but yeah, minimal comfortable wage. Let's, let's continue. And I'm done. I'm fucking done. I doubt you are, because you need to work. Uh, you're talking about someone with a father. I mean, for 10 years of my life, yes, I did have one. Um, although we do get on well now these days, which is always quite lovely. Um, he's the only parent I have left, so um, our relationship is... Uh, much closer than it was when I was a kid, than when I was a kid. Because um, I was, um, my dad was a worker and I was very book smart. So I was very different. Uh, my gifts 
as a child didn't mesh well or form a decent bond with any parent, really. Oh, okay, why have I switched? Oh, that's their TikTok, apparently. Okay, VLC's not working. Alright. Can I have VLC back? Oh, no, it's not that. Ha! Right, come back here. I know what it was. I re-rendered this, and I put the TikTok there because I wanted to show something, a uh, relevant point. So I paused it. Yes, okay. The reason why I... Where is it? Here. Right, the reason why I put this here. Because um, they haven't uploaded much content. They got a massive surge on this one here, which is the one we just went through. But on the same day, they uploaded this video. This one on the same day, shortly after, and I thought we'd go to that just to see what they say. Because I don't actually know what they say afterwards. Um, you can't be done. You need to... Well, exactly. Absolutely that. Uh, and Oh, yeah, my mum used to skip meals as well. It's never ideal. Uh, mac and cheese and bologna. I've heard about that. Um, Self-cuddle jacket. I like trying to give my dad a hug. He hates it. Yeah, I'm not... Um, my dad does like hugs from family and stuff. I don't give... I'm, I'm the one that doesn't do touching. In fact, um, and we can laugh about it because I am genuinely this guy. At a funeral recently, um, I approached my father and I said, you get one. <laughs> and David was there. He knows I said it. Uh, I, I legit am not the... Um, I'm not very good with people. Uh, it's not in my nature to be... I should check Discord quick. Um... I have to make sure she knows. Uh, my apologies. I just want to make sure that um, uh, if Leona wants to. Uh, sorry for being rude and making. Uh, they say I'm sorry for being rude and make. Obviously, as long as you'd, you're. Oh, um, thank you, uh, Penguin, for the whiskey to drown your sorrows. Well, my sorrows are almost drowned. We are 17 away from drowning my sorrows. I add streamer broccoli, steamed broccoli and slice ham to my mac. Oh, I like I like steamed stem broccoli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to go to night school when I learned that I was getting my hours cut and new hires. Honestly, you do what you must, right? Honestly, I'd work in. Uh, I had an opportunity to work in a call center when I worked my last proper job in Norwich, uh, but it was one for um, repairs, so I wasn't cold calling or anything like that. Uh, and I, I wished I'd stayed because I could have done with my voice. I could have done that. Uh, but I turned it down because I was too introverted. I still am, to be honest. Mm. Sips Tamlavulin. You know, one of the reasons why I keep making these videos. So this was this is a follow up, just after the angry one. Just to spread awareness. Is it that though? Right, first it is raising awareness, but it's raising awareness by showing an irrational aspect. So it, it poisons the well in a, in a sense because you're not trying to get people to sympathize or empathize. You're showing anger and frustration in an online space where you are unlikely to get it. And I should point out, people are now going to see your content and be less likely to engage because you turn the comments off. There's a reason for that. Yes, of course, creators have covered you, but also because your video blew up. You got, oh, um, spam's okay. A spam fritter, I like. One of those. Um, I actually liked Spam as a kid, unprocessed cheese. The one I hated was the tinned, uh, tinned corned beef. That, uncooked in a sandwich, no butter, horrendous. The bread, lowest quality as well. That, even if you work full-time, minimum wage, it is not enough. Yeah, because that's what the word minimum means. I'm sorry if that hurts people, by the way. Um, oh, quiet, Meg. Nice. Thanks, Silva. I'm gonna. I've never had mac and cheese with tuna uh, because I've never had mac and cheese. I've had macaroni cheese because it's my favourite pasta dish. Straight up macaroni cheese. If uh, pasta, di it's weird for someone who gets headaches from cheese. Macaroni cheese uh, is my favourite pasta dish. Try to limit my social media use for today. Yeah, you turn comments off. I'll still keep responding to nice messages. You turn comments off because you didn't get many of those. Because thank God TikTok has a filter for comments because the shit that you fucking see on there is just fucking ridiculous. By the way, if you can, if you just a thing. Right, I'm I'm not gonna be this guy 
But if you can afford a pair of Bluetooth headphones, right, and access to the internet, a decent phone to record on, because this is 1080p at the very least, right, you aren't as hard up as you think. You're just making a lot of poor decisions for convenience sake by believing that having access to those convenient items somehow makes your life better. It doesn't. Sometimes you need to be offline to make the on make the offline better. I'm not all for judgmental comments. The only reason why I let one slide um, is just Dessa, to so show how fucking stupid it was. I mean, stupid is a word for it, but it's mostly stupidity born out of your own stupidity. That they don't, people will take a video. As you do. Throw it out the window, whatever. I mean, that's what you pretty much did. I fucking say, and make something negative out of it. Well, it wasn't hard to. I've sat here criticizing you for a while because, in truth, you dug this hole for yourself. Like, you dug this hole. Yeah? And absolutely that, honey bats. They're not forever jobs. I understand some of us are actually okay with minimum wage jobs because we have a partner, for example, that earns a decent wage and we're just doing it to top up the income for the household. Yeah, less responsibility, less stress. No harm with that. Don't judge that. But people who are trying to get somewhere in life like you, you're younger than me, um, Max. You are a lot younger than me. You have to be. Okay? I'm near 40. Near. Not actually. And you must be at, maybe at most 20. Yeah? You have a whole life ahead of you. But you need to start... Oh, sorry. Yes, I did move away from the mic. For my sincerest apologies for that. I was leaning back for a second there, Penguin. I was um, stretching because I wanted to make my chair creak. You're welcome. Uh, no, I was also dropping my voice slightly as well, I believe. Oh, but yeah, no. The, the, oh, I've derailed myself. Um, no, I've derailed myself. That's my fault. Sorry about that. And you know what? Oh, yeah, videos. People make videos on you. Yes, because you ha went into that uh, previous video with so much anger and irrationality that you weren't controlling what you were saying or thinking what you're saying. And you did it in this as well, where your natural speaking dialect in the online space is just... It's almost Ozzy Osbourne tier for every other word being a profanity. Even now when you're calming down, you're still not calm. You just believe you're right. Who gives a shit? See? Um... I think it's because someone already bought it, um, Penguin. I checked the wish list earlier. I, I did put a new chair on there, though. Although I think if you, uh, the other chair was in stock, I think you have, to have a U you have to make a UK account to be able to do it. But yeah, I just I wanted to throw it out there that... The whole reason and the whole goal for these is I want something to change. The best way to impact change is to build a community based on something that involves integrity, uh, a bit of intelligence, and not something espousing confirmation bias. Sometimes critical thought needs to be applied to these subjects. It's vitally important. Understanding and nurturing, not showing a lack of patience and reactivity. If you show yourself as volatile as cesium and not something as zen as xenon, chances are you're going to fail. There aren't many creators who can get away with just being angry all the time unless you appeal to a larger audience, and you don't appeal to a larger audience. Who dis? Hi, Katie K. I'm a nobody. And this person we've just done a video response to, and we're now just responding to another one. Um, they've been humbled. I hope they have been. I know I am only one guy. I'm only one. And I don't really understand what the analogy is to throw out the window. I think it's, I think that's their coping mechanism for saying, oh no, I effed around and I've just found out because someone on the internet found my video and responded to it. So in this case, short, fat otaku. One person, but we all need to fucking go out and vote. Let me guess, Trump man bad, we both vote for Biden who will be asleep and won't even realise he's won. Because... If America really thinks that I am only worth living in my car, me and my partner, and they fucking work full time while I also try to find a job and wait, are you not working? And try to find a place where we can safely be to keep my dog, to keep our dog, while we work jobs. Something needs to be fucking done. Yes, but under whose administration is this happening? Under you, donut. Whose administration is this currently under that this is happening? If this is so bad now, bear in mind here, 
it has been happening under every administration, every government. There are people living in their cars. Hell, at one point, my family lived in a car for a couple of days because that, when I was a kid, that happened. It's just what happened. It happens from time to time, yeah? Um, maybe get involved in politics. Actual po no, act well, activism is a weird one because um, sometimes it can impact change, but no. It is a privilege to have a dog, and I have one right next to me right now, uh, Wizzy Woo, my, Lizzie, my, my uh, cavalier. Um, she is... Okay, she's asleep. She doesn't give a crap. But she's asleep and she's here. Um, but yeah, no, you can say things need to be done, but you can't blame it on the election season because you've had four years of an, administ of an administration. Hi, Leona. And it's just not impacted Hello. or led to any meaningful change that should have happened by now. So why are you bitching about something you clearly have failed at changing? Why don't you instead seek to improve your life and not focus on the big stage? Focus on you. Hi. Hi. Hey, everyone. P to pet Lizzie. Phil's stream, Streamlabs goal bar and I'll pet Lizzie. There you go. Continuing. <laughs> pet Lizzie. Pet Lizzie. Because we can't keep living like this. Can't keep living like this. Good for you. Oh, that, that video's over. Okay. There, I have more videos, though, but it's from other people. So I don't know what the next one is at all. But let's mm. go find out. No. Okay. Oh, actually, this is actually relevant to work. Uh, I believe. Um, how do you have time for your life? Uh, question of the day in a nine to five. How do you have time for your life? Now let, let's let's see if either of us can answer this. Since Leona's here, uh, you work a full time job, don't you? I do. Okay. How do you have time for life? You make time. That sounds like a lot of bullshit. You plan. <laughs> well, no, you. You know your hours you work, you plan your life around said hours because you have to have money to be able to live. So what you're trying to say is people should have some kind of routine, yes? Yes. Ah. You're a dickhead for thinking You that. know I like routine. Meg uses dogs <laughs> to get you know money. Like Damn right I do. I want to <laughs> fill my bar so I can get Israeli whiskey and not to support Israel necessarily, but because I want their whiskey. Two years <laughs> on YouTube. Well, on this channel. It's okay. Yeah. My main channel will be nine in June. Two years? Sorry? Oh, gosh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Nine years in June for Megon. Yeah, that's And I want to right. get a nine-year-old oh, whiskey for that. Yeah. <coughs> um, I was once called transphobic for calling someone male to female a crazy bitch. Made me chuckle inside the irony they really were acting unhinged. Um, I mean, technically, you were right. Because you don't say that to a bloke, really, do you? You know what I mean? Like, you call someone a crazy bitch. Mm -hmm. You don't say it to a men, men that much, do you? Hello, Coach Red Panda. I've said hello to people, have, by the way. I do I say hello. Yeah, but you're just, you're just being weird. Um, hello, Katie Kane. Anyone else I haven't said hello to, um, do say hello in the chat so we can, of course, uh, greet you. Um, right, continue. Anyway, yeah, this video, I'm going to play this. I know I'm probably just being so dramatic. And I know there's a follow-up to this by somebody else, but I haven't actually seen it. Mm -hmm. I had it saved on a disc on Discord tab. I haven't looked at it. Annoying, but this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college, and I'm in person, and I'm commuting in the city, and it takes <laughs> me fucking forever to get there. There's no way I'm gonna be able to afford living in the city right yeah, now, so that's off the table. Here. Like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work, and it would it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here, like I get on the train at seven thirty, and I don't get home till like. 615 earliest and so these are these are complaints for somebody who's got their very first job and they're having to travel to work and they're losing mm -hmm. even more time yeah. away from work and uh, i'm going to say <laughs> the most dickheaded mm. thing but it's accurate okay. um this sounds like a you problem and you're bitching to the void <laughs> to people who will undoubtedly already know this to be the case i used to cycle mm -hmm. five and a half miles to work and five and a half miles mm -hmm. from did. work every day for about two and a half years when I used to repair phones. Did I complain? No, because it was work. There was also a KFC around... The no, there was, there was a Texaco garage. There was a Tesco nearby. I'd get some food. I'd be sorted, mm. all right? Coffee machine. Done. Bosh, right? Yeah. You did your bloody job. You, you mm. rode home, all right? That was... Yeah. I had to do mm. that. It was my first job after uni. I had no choice. I didn't care. It was mm. money. And it was minimum wage, exactly. by the way, but it was money. Mm. And I wanted money. <laughs> So I did this for the money. I didn't care about it. I didn't go to social media and go, 
<laughs> I had to rave. My, my, I racked my balls once on it. Uh-huh. No, oh, it just, I actually did. The pe- uh, I got well, given no, a the job I... centre. Job centre gave me a bike, mm. and it had plastic pedals. Yeah. And riding to work, the pedals snapped on the way up the hill. I mm. racked myself so hard. I mean, it was oh. it was it was painful. Can't be the one who thinks a Megan is cut. Well, yeah. Should I tell them to where to go to find a picture? Elephant of me? man. <laughs> Look up Joseph Merrick. That is yeah. my face. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, Shady Lane. And there's a, there's, a, there's a Whizzy, but no Tilly. She's outside. Hey, she's Shady. Loving, she's loving the outdoors. Uh, but yeah, no, the travelling to and from oh, work okay. for the first couple of years is obviously really difficult because we don't get much time to ourselves, but that's the point, to develop that mm-hmm. hard skin, to put in the effort, put in the work, and get there. Yeah. All right? You do that because once you start earning your way up the ladder, if you want to stay with that company, you bloody well do it because it makes your life easier. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. I'm going to carry on yeah. playing now. And like, okay. I don't have time to do anything. I don't, I want to shower, eat my dinner and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like I. Yeah, most people don't when they do a nine to five and it's their first job. Cooking dinner isn't really a priority. We, we just get a ready made meal or something. Yeah. Pick up a snack if you yeah. have to. You go and sit in your bed for a bit, mm-hmm. read a book and go to sleep. If you have to take medication for it, yeah. pop them. Don't insult Joseph w- Merrick like I- that. Shut your mouth, she does. <laughs> donate to my stream labs. How dare you, G Dubs? Show me but the money. No, I mean, like what I used to do if when I was able to, I couldn't do it every time I was off because I worked two jobs at once most of the time. So I've done that. I made I meals. Do it now, actually. You know, they call it meal. Yeah, they. Yeah, you do. They call it meal prep, but now, but I fixed up stuff I could throw in the microwave really quick. So that, that's one thing. If you, tight, if you, you can know? get yourself like a slow cooker, you can get like a couple stews out of that mm-hmm. in one go. You leave it going yeah. and just put it into pots and put it in the freezer, and you're done. Bosh. My sister does that with some yeah, meals. Exactly. I, it's that thing of sometimes you mm. have to find. My sister's a terrible for it, but I, I, if I find time mm. to do something, it gets done. Simple as that. There right. is no fuss. There's no yeah. complaint, and that's always how I've been. Mm-hmm. But I understand mm-hmm. at the same time that some people just haven't been raised to understand how the real world works, mm. and that is where these people we're covering right. come from. I'm going to carry on playing, by the way. Don't have energy to work out yeah. like that's out the window, like. You don't need to work out, bitch. Carry I'm on. so upset. Oh my- so upset. Oh, my God. Okay. I feel sympathy for you. God. Nothing to do with my job at all, but just, like, the 9 to 5 schedule in general is crazy. You say it's crazy, 9 to 5, but it's not. It is a it's fact, normal. immutable fact of, like, it's a fixed yeah. point in time. Uh, Ryan, thanks for the donation. The little boy that cried wolf, a tale as old as time... A lesson that never seems to have been learnt. How many online causing? How many online causing issues? Are, honestly, you're exactly correct. Mm. You really are. True. It's absolutely bollocks mm. at this point, isn't it? Right, carrying on. Being in the office nine to five, like if it was remote, you get off at five and you're home and everything's <laughs> fine. But like I'm not home. It takes me long to get home and like. You know, you think this is terrible, um, Blondie, fake blonde. Um, I should point out there are people who work in professions that start work at. Five in the morning and don't get home till nine in the evening. Um, they're called ER doctors. I fam, there are people who work manual labor jobs nine to five, and when they get home, they are legitimately completely fucked. There are people who work so many different types of occupation that work longer or shorter hours and are in worse condition than you. I, I don't know what you're complaining about. Nine to five, I think your complaint is it's the part of something you'd rather not be doing. I think you'd rather just be doing nothing. Like, people that drive to the office, like, it doesn't... You don't get off at five. And I know it could be worse. I know I could be working longer. But, like, I literally get off. It's pitch black. Like, I don't have energy. How do you have friends? Like, how do you have time to, like, meet, like, a guy? I don't know. Like, Oh, you want to meet a guy? You you need a sugar daddy. That's what you need. How do you have time for, like, dating? Like, I don't have time for anything. And I'm like... Uh, Are you telling me you need a release? Set your phone to vibrate and finish yourself okay. off. Carrying on. I'm so stressed out. Oh, and I'm also getting my period. So that's... I don't care about your bleeding. Why I'm all emotional, but like... Oh, oh, is, that, oh, is that why you're emotional? You're admitting you're a woman. Okay, good to know. Am I... Inner sexism God. intensifies. It's so dramatic. It's fine. Uh-huh. Oh, that video's done already. Okay. So basically, um, hmm. she's being irrational and attributes it to her period. Before anyone else responds, Are you on your period by chance? 
<laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, did she say how old she was? She did not. No, she's another youngin, though. Yeah, hmm. I can tell. So whereas the first one was well, complaining no, was... about dead naming and mm. lack of work. Lack of foot in the door and mm. lack of loans. The second is complaining about having to actually work. I bitch. Fam. There are so many hard work jobs out there that don't... Like, actually, Bri, you mentioned it well. Eight hour, eight hour plus days, multiple weeks on the road. Mm. Like, And yes, yeah. I'm an ass, of course. I'm. Hi, Sarah. I read your comment earlier from today's Hi, video Sarah. on stream. Yeah, we read that on stream. I say we. I did. Uh, <laughs> but I was going through the uh, video for today. Um, uh, Got to bounce. Thank you for being here, Miss Sparkles. I really appreciate it. Michaela, you Maybe try being a content creator for a day. Oh, God, people who say that... Like, I'm just going to say now, right? Being a content creator can be difficult, but only if you have nothing mm. to talk about. Like, fam, mm. I don't care about bleeding in the slightest. I, I've cut my hands so many times over the years. Like, seriously, you don't know the pain. <laughs> um, the, 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 the thing about, like, being a creator is it's only as difficult as you want it to be. Today's video was harder for me to make mm. because I didn't actually have anything to work with, really. Like, yeah. it, it, was, it was a lot harder for me to find something to make a video out of. And I don't have anything planned for tomorrow because I need to look for things. That's on my shoulders. Yeah. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to put the effort yeah. in. But it's, I would not say mm -hmm. for a second it's a hard job. I've sat here making videos that took me all day to make. Yes, a legit video I've done that with, the uh, end of year stuff. It's not hard. It just mm -hmm. requires me to do something I'm not very good at, and that is stay focused. Uh, my inability mm. to do so has been attributed to a number of things, ADD or deficiencies, mm. mostly mental. Uh, <laughs> but that, that's the thing. It, 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 it can't compare the occupation of being a creator. I mean, December is quite a difficult month for me because I want to take make money. Um, cough, mm. cough, Streamlabs. But uh, other than that, I'm not as I'm not you know I'm not too bothered most of the time. I just get on with it. It's just the job, and I don't care about yeah. bleeding. Bleeding, absolutely that G dubs. <laughs> Keep your ooh redness to yourself. Just uh, shout at tips to him. I'd be tempted to if you bloody well listen. I'm, pro I'm probably one of the few people he might think he could beat in a debate. Um, mm. He wouldn't win. Yeah. But that's only because I wouldn't turn up. <laughs> yeah, you don't really, you don't do debates. No, I don't really give a shit. I don't care enough. I'm nearly 40. Yeah. I don't care. Uh, well, that's I, the thing about it's not that I think he's beneath me. Someone, it's care. just, yeah, kind of. it's not even that I think he's beneath me. I just think that he'd get beaten by a, by someone flicking a pee at his forehead. All right, mm -hmm. let's see what the next video is. I don't know what it is. We've got a different color. Oh, and one comment, <laughs> one comment I will make about these people putting these videos out like this. Go on. Have people? I said it earlier. Have people forgotten what a diary is? Hmm. Like, so I mentioned that at the you start, write this stuff in your where you have diary. Wattpad, you have <laughs> Tumblr, where you write mm -hmm. it on a piece of paper and you yeah. burn it. I had a diary as a kid. Yeah. The diary is about the size mm -hmm. of your hand. Yeah. Um, the owner has tiny mm -hmm. hands. Um, it was a very, very microscopic. They're normal book. hands. Shut up. Tiny hand. <laughs> yeah. Smaller than a coaster. You know, what I mean that kind of size diary. Mm -hmm. That's why my yeah. handwriting is as tiny as it is. I learned to do that then. Mm -hmm. Bye, sparkles. Um, and Bye, it was the Sparkle. comment you put on today's video uh, on uh, Megon 2. That's the comment. We were going through. I was going through the comments because it was appropriate. Attend the Red Wing. And it's, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I remember. I remember the first time I got taught what a period was in mm. uh, early secondary school, and then I was given my timetable for my lessons, and they said next period is this, and I every time they said period, I went. Ugh, uh, I was not a happy chappy learning these details. I didn't need to know about. Right. I don't know what this next video is, but it was tweeted out by Jebra Fauche. I don't know who they are. I don't pay enough attention. Mm -hmm. Tiny hands like a circus worker. Um, tiny hands like a piece of Lego. Carrying on. A few weeks ago, I found out that the person that I love oh, most in this world loud. is no longer masking. Uh -oh. Their entire ah. Yeah, I can't hear it. I have it muted. <laughs> right. They just said, they just found out that... Oh, hang on, I'll go back. I found out that um, somebody in their life is no longer a few masking. Weeks ago, I found out that the oh, person, person that I, I love the most in this world, world is, no longer, is no longer masking. Who cares? Do people need to mask still? There's... Yeah, there... it became a religion to people. Fam, I ain't going to service doing that. How are you going to get the blood of Christ or the flesh of Christ in you? Huh? <laughs> How are you going to do it, bitch? Hmm. Well, how are you going to do it, bitch? Not you. Oh, my. I got, know. She I has know. a ridiculously thick head of hair. Yeah. 
I'm very annoyed by this. A weird hair, a weird hairline. So, I, yes, and but it's actually hmm. Hmm. Is it the hairline? I'm just wait because it looks family, like the hair's drooping over a little bit. Have stopped masking. It does look strange, doesn't it? As you said. Oh, somebody, thank you um, for the donation. I really appreciate that. I'll like that. I see we're still adhering to uh, Super Chats. I appreciate that. YouTube does too, of course. Uh, Inside. But also, hmm? Sorry? Fiona? Are you there? I can't hear you if you're there. Your thing's crapped out again, hasn't it? Like a mop. I, I may have used it to clean the floor before, yeah. Um, they don't wear a mask and all my... Yeah, yeah, it's basically that. And yesterday I... What did you say, Leona? I'm oh, sorry, I had to switch my internet over. Um, okay. Well, first of all, the mask thing, that's just become a darn religion. But it's yeah. like, these are your inside thoughts. You don't voice these in public. So I, and I people have that. lost that boundary. I, I, I restrain myself... Quite a bit when it comes to like I'm not I don't make yeah. jokes that I want to make right obviously I don't right otherwise yeah. I'd make some yeah. very I I could make obviously I could but I I, I don't do it because self control and also I know yeah. that you know my sense of humor I get it I think yeah. the internet my, no, depending on you got to feel the room a little bit and these crying exactly, into the yeah. into the void videos are always the same yeah. um, I'll continue playing it though to see what I said. her and I said hey mm. I I can't get past the fact that you all are no longer <laughs> asking like. Ah. With everything that's happening in the world right now, with COVID, with RSV, with measles, with everything that's coming back. Everything that's coming back, everyone. You know what to fix it. A fucking mask! If you'd like <laughs> to help me in my quest to acquire more masks, I highly recommend you donate <laughs> via Streamlabs to a Megon. Because my goal hasn't been hit, which means Israeli whiskey is not on its way to me. No, not you said screaming into the void. Let me make a... Go on. You there? Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> you, you cut out. What did you say? God dang it. What is that? You literally uh, said no, nothing. No, I said... <laughs> oh, dang it. I know. No, you said screaming into the void, but that's not what this is. Because you're screaming out to the internet and the internet's full. It's not empty. The void is empty. Oh, no. It's the mentality of they think they're yeah. screaming into the void. That's dumb. Uh, RSV. I don't know what RSV is. She mentioned RSV. What's RSV? Mm. RSV? I, I'm not sure right off the top of my head. Did you mention measles, COVID, and RSV? Is, is that chicken pox or some shit? Then, oh, not I never the know. colds. I should know. I work Anyways. in healthcare. I should know what that is. <laughs> COVID's making a WrestleMania return. We'll hopefully beat the fuck out of the rock then. Real behavior Carrying to me. Mm. Like, I, community care is important to me. I need yeah. to know that the people in my life care about their health. and. People, so that's the thing. I, I can't cool. love them because they don't care about their own own health. Like, bitch, they can care about their own health and they've determined that a mask is not required for it. Respiratory mm. sin sick sin sin I I don't I don't know that is what I sick okay. sink I don't know that word is. I've never seen that word in my life. After respiratory and before virus. Yeah, I feel like I should know that word and I don't. I've never seen that word in my life. Not even any of the chemistry stuff I've ever done. That's mm. interesting. Yeah, something. It's 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 yeah. it's virus essentially. Carry on. Health of the people around them. Huh. To which I received a three and a half page dissertation. Dissertation. Ooh. Justifying their behavior. I assume you've reviewed it, given them an F, and decided uh, I can no longer be associated. Uh, Coro Row is not going anywhere away till there is a cure, which is likely never happening. We should be should be obligated to wear a mask for that reason. I agree with you, uh, somebody, one hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. Um, I stopped wearing masks when I was told I could because um, I was forced yeah. to go. I couldn't go into shops with them, and I've never worn them yeah. since twenty twenty one. And I, yeah. I'll be honest, um, I will not wear them again if I'm told to because I can't. I, I'm sorry, but I don't work in labs. Fuck off. All right, I don't need to wear them. Two and a half years hiding from germs, honestly. And depriving people of yeah. company, people who are near the end of life, perhaps, who couldn't have family that loved them at their funerals. And No, no, they've well, just quietly incinerated yeah, like, them. 
you remember I was working at the nursing home during all that. And that was probably the most detrimental thing to my patients. Mm -hmm. Their families could not come and see them. And yep. I watched depression is already rampant in nursing homes. I watched it just eat people alive. Yeah. You know, people that where they were allowing people to come out to the windows of the rooms was as close as they actually could get. And I think that was actually worse to have them within touching distance and couldn't actually get to them. That shit. Um, and I understand people weren't at the hospitals. My dentist, they wear them as well. And that's be uh, vain. Uh, vain? Yeah. Mm. I, my mask, ask acne. I know people who got that as well. It's just the skin does not appreciate yeah. it. Including classics um, right, here, such on. as... Okay. We're not breaking any rules. We're do but you're not. doing way better than everyone else around. And you are. Does. So why should you continue wearing them? Oh, they're coming back. It's a boogaloo. Okay. I'll stick my fist up your asshole if you say that again. We Ew. won't go anywhere if we feel sick. My personal favorite was um, paraphrased, you couldn't possibly understand because you don't have kids. I'm not surprised you don't have kids. It's illogical to expect children to continue masking and stay in lockdown. I'll be honest, I don't think anyone should stay in lockdown mm. because people hiding from germs, which we now know didn't actually help in the slightest. I don't think it's right to have children develop being dependent on the computer and the internet to get their education and the parents having to be forced even more so to be more involved in their children's lives to force them to learn when they don't want to. To force them to fraternize and associate on shite like Roblox and Minecraft shite. Uh. Like fam, children need to live and hiding from measles. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I had measles three yeah. times as a kid. I promise you, shut up. <laughs> I don't care about measles. I don't care about chicken pox. I don't care about RSV. I don't care about coronavirus. All right. Some of us have good immune systems. Some of us don't. Simple as that. It's called natural selection. Carrying on. Well, my. Oh, go on. You, you go on. No, I, I was just going to say my whole thing is if you want to wear them, okay. Wear them. That's not a big deal. But do not, again, it's the whole what's good for you is good for you, but do not try to force it on me. You know. American. Don't try to force some crap on me. <laughs> I remember when the lockdown stuff happened. How many people went outside and went, you what? Ha! Good luck with that. Yeah. I'm on immunosuppressants it because of my disease and I carry it in a case. In case. It's in case I'm somewhere and someone's hacking near me but I'm not wearing a con. Oh, that's good. At least you don't. Yeah. It, it's uh, your decision, you know. To go outside and play. And yes, the blasphemy of it all. Mm. Uh, chill Goblin. Hi. I want to tell you. Hi. Cool. Yeah, where I am, we didn't care. I mean, honestly, well, I did because I worked in healthcare, so I adhered to everything because I was paranoid. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, where I live, people were like, "Oh, we're on lockdown. Okay, we're gonna go fishing." Honestly, I went <laughs> you fishing. On, I, you were only allowed to go out once, right? Yeah. And um, I I went fishing on the beach uh, multiple times with brother-in-law at the time because um, mm. you know we had nothing to do. Dave was obviously doing his own thing with someone's some skank, and um, you know, so we didn't have him down here at all back then. Yeah. I mean, people did what they wanted to do here. I mean, stores were closed, but people still got together. They did stuff. They went to each other's houses. And yes, I just, went, cases. I just went to the corner shop and bought myself some junk food and came back and was like, <laughs> oh, screw this. I'm going to eat chocolate. Uh, I don't give a shit. Anyway, I'm going to carry on because I'm falling behind. Carry on. Okay, go ahead. Oh, she said literally nothing for five seconds. Bitch. So I responded and ah, I said, okay. Yeah. As I already stated, no it's funny your thing about all that. My entire oh, family is oh, one of the okay. least ones in the state. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I oh, sorry, the video was playing, so I didn't realize you were talking. Oh, it's hard. There's a delay on the video. Yeah, yeah, it's so fine. I, don't know when it's I, I'd interrupted yeah. and just hit play straight away. I'll, I'll let you. Oh, okay. Um, you said here in the video, I'm sure you would do everything you can to keep your family safe. So you also acknowledge it's that person's choice, but you don't agree with that choice. Mm. So I'll carry on. I'm mm. sure you will do everything you can to keep your family safe. The best thing for me right now is to take a step away from this relationship. So I don't like this video for a massive reason. Uh, if it mm. is true, and this is not a Poe, the idea that somebody has taken a step away from a relationship because of, um, because of, um, uh, because of uh, somebody's personal choice, I think it's a mm. dangerous area to, um, to, mm. to walk, yeah? Uh, I'm yeah. quickly just looking up something, so I want to make sure that this isn't a Poe. Okay. Um, 
It's not. No, it's not. Okay, we're good. Because I had to be sure Jebra Falche wasn't the person in the video, and I wasn't entirely certain. Um, yeah. All right, we're fine. We'll carry on. I need to let a dog out of my room first, okay. so talk to the chat while I'm gone for a moment. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, no problem. Hey, everyone. Uh, for those that don't, I'm Leona. I'm, if you'll see me in the chat, my name's Wildling Darlings. But anyhow, how's everybody doing? I'm tired. I've had a long day. I'm going to gripe to the void like everybody else. <laughs> You have to forgive me if I interrupt the video occasionally because I had to mute the uh, video, so I have no idea when it's actually playing. The first two months of the pandemic were freebie information. was it's, Yeah, true. I worked in healthcare when all of that happened. In fact, I was at a nursing home where uh, they put me on the actual uh, contaminated ward with the patients that unfortunately ended up with COVID. Uh, that was fun. Only person taking care of 24 people. Lots of fun. <laughs> if we Hi, hit MJ. our goal, yeah. I'll do the mouth noises oh. and the oh no. noises. Just saying. Right. Continuing. Which MJ? I'm sorry. Back here. Pressing play. Uh-huh. Go ahead. I love you all, but I have to take care of myself first and foremost. I... I fully understand this idea of taking yourself, uh, taking care of yourself first and foremost. I disagree with it being mm -hmm. built on a premise of be, 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 the COVID is coming back. <laughs> no, carrying on. Hope you understand. Mm. And she says, sure, I can't force you to stay. You said relationship in this video. Is this your partner or some shit? Carrying on. Yeah. Mm. And I'm telling you this because I know I'm not the only one out here who is dealing with struggling with people in their lives that they care about very much that are no longer taking mitigation efforts i can't have people in my life that make me feel unsafe so i just gonna say there's a point here about oh. you 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 made this video talking about the importance of masking up and how selfish it is for people to not wear their masks mm. and you've severed a relationship of some kind you haven't explained the nature of that relationship um because they disagree with you. A three-page dissertation, as you dubbed it, rather nasty way of putting it, for them having mm. valid points uh, that disagree with you. But if it's a relationship worth fighting for, you've clearly dug your heels in here uh, and are refusing, and you've just given up. But I think one of the things you've done here is you've just potentially blasted somebody that doesn't want to be blasted, so you can mm. air your virtue signal of, look at me, everyone. Aren't I amazeballs? I am standing up to the COVIDness and the deniers. Look at my weird hairline that makes it look like I'm somewhat. I look, wouldn't look out of place out of uh, in in a Star Trek of some kind. Hmm. It's it's very Tuvok. Huh. Continuing. And they live on the other coast, but that's not the point. The point is, if I had the option to be around them right now. She's Why'd gone. You do that? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? No. Oh, you're tripping me out. No. Why? Stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, Don't do that over here. Oh. 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 I'm going to take my headphones off. Stop it. Moist. Stop. Who paid you? Oh. Perfect. Stop. Thank you for that. Who paid you? Uh, Lemon. God dang it, penguin! Yeah, it's okay. I get, I, I win here because I get an Israeli whiskey now. It means I get to bosh, but I kind of don't. I get to bosh, but I don't, which is amazing, isn't it? I couldn't yeah. because I wouldn't feel safe. You owe me for that, and that means something to me. Right, so I'm gonna, Oops. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna come back here. Um, I am mm. not gonna. Con the, the other two videos are like twenty seconds each. There's no point playing them. Uh, I am going to state uh, right now that that is um, the most selfish take I have ever seen. Um, I have ever seen on this subject. Um, I am, for those who are interested, going to put in the chat a link to the two-year anniversary whiskey that you have all just paid for. Uh, a celebratory thing <laughs> that is 66.5% and comes from Israel. 
Mm. It's called Milk and Honey. It's a red wine cask, port cask one. finish, mm. and heavily peated. Mm -hmm. I think. Ha! Oh. Sorry. Is it heavily peated? Maybe. I don't know. But yes, only 361 bottles of it. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. Thank you. Oh, and somebody, thank you. The lady who's to control the body autonomy of her friends. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you don't deserve yeah. friends if that is what you're going to do. Yeah. These are the people I make videos on because I want to call them out. I want to call them out for their dog plop interpretations of situations. I have friends, mm -hmm. like when Brexit was ongoing, people wanted to, I know people in my life that voted to, to stay. I voted to leave. Okay. My closest friend, Dave, voted to remain. Do we argue mm. about it? No. We don't. Because he's my friend. Mm. I'm his friend. We don't care we disagree. We just disagree. Mm. Simple as that. In this, you're willing to sever relationships. Sever them entirely. Because why, actually? I can't yeah. think of one good reason why you would want to. Like, well, you have no valid thing, reason for this. Did you have a date on that video? When did she put out that video? Because that I, is so, like, right at the end, toward the end of the original pandemic stuff. I don't that know. It was tweeted recently. So That's why ago. I kept it. That's why yeah. I hadn't had chance. I basically had it in my folder, mm -hmm. and I didn't know. So I put it in the stream because I yeah. couldn't be certain. Yeah, gotcha. Friend was on the other coast. I didn't have that at the end of the video. It wasn't on this one. The person who tweeted it out must have cropped it because mm. I didn't know where it came from. Mm. I just saw it, grabbed mm. it, didn't like what I heard, and then put it aside. Mm. And it's the I knows yeah. what's best for you thing. And I think that's very dangerous. It, you, is, you, it is. If you can't disagree with people, you've got to be careful. Mm. I just think it's very dangerous to um, be this way. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't like people who dictate to their supposed loved ones how they can do things. Yeah. Now, it, it's one thing if it's a parent asking you as a friend not to drop F-bombs in front mm -hmm. of their kid. That's different. Yeah. Um, but to say, oh, no, you have to inconvenience yourself in this mm -hmm. way and aggravate. Because children were aggravated by those masks yeah. a lot. They so it's were. Like you, got, you need to aggravate your kids and you need to do this. And Some people have respiratory no, issues dictating. and they couldn't wear them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've paid for it yeah, by the way I mean... it has been bought <laughs> you're all welcome I, see I know you. you're happy now I'm definitely well, <laughs> oh, oh, Sunday's going to be very interesting oh dear <laughs> we're going to have to try it in the VC I think on Discord definitely yeah um, okay um, if you have any questions by the way because I I didn't know how long this would go. And obviously, as you could tell, I get very easily distracted. Mm. If you have any questions, do ask, because I'd be happy to answer any and all of them. Mm. Um, otherwise, I will um, use mm. it as an excuse to finish. And um, mm. I say ordered. It's still loading on PayPal for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Um, mm. But yes, if you have any, do ask. Uh, otherwise, I will um, vanish and probably appeal monetization, because this is... Um, Frustrating. Well, it's going to be irritating. Uh, I think it will yeah. get demonetized because of um, because of the girl um, Max. Sorry, not girl um, Max, who may have been a bit too spicy mm. on the f liberal with the f bombs. Um, yeah. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for two years. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing this again next year, and hopefully, the channel will be even bigger, mm. and hopefully, we'll be better as a. Well, hopefully, we'll do better as a streamer. Although, to be honest, your insane generosity this evening is ridiculous. Um, uh, yes. Oh, what? What did I just? I did not mean to drop that. What is? What that? is that? Is it my stream? I have no idea. I, it may. Yeah, it is my I stream. Yeah, it somewhere. It's my stream. Yeah. That's my bad. I thought I still had the stream links uh, copied. Oh, fair enough. My stream labs. I meant. Okay, the order has gone through, but it hasn't on the website yet. Um, yes. Thank uh, you again. Uh, have you seen the scene reanimator? No, I don't know what that is. Opinions of golden I retrievers. Have. Oh, what is it? <laughs> A good movie. Uh, you're not that big into most horror movies. I mean, it's I like... It's a body I horror do, movie. I do like some... Well, you like Hellraiser, some, so... I like Saw. Yeah. I like the Freddy yeah, and Kruger stuff. True. I like Jason. Yeah. Um, 
uh, Halloween movies all right. Um, I don't. I, I'm not. Really, I don't make it a point to actively go and watch them, but I will you, watch them if I you can. You might actually. Um, opinions on golden retrievers. Um, I like dogs, so uh, all breeds mm. are fine. I mentioned on Twitch earlier my sister's bulldog, English bulldog, is in pain at the moment, mm. and I may end up having to do a GoFundMe, depending on whether or not in three days she requires surgery or not. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, spinal issue. Uh, mm. We're not sure. I think it's cramp in her legs, but. That says otherwise. Uh -huh. I gave her morphine and some painkillers, so we'll see what happens in three days. Oh, poor baby. Um, she yeah, can't walk thing. properly on her back legs, though. She's only two, oh. two, three years old, you know? Yeah, she's um, young, isn't she? Yeah, she's very young. Um, but Golden Retrievers are lovely dogs, incredibly loyal, and can be dickheaded at the same time. I'm okay with that. Mm. Okay, but it hasn't... Yeah. Be, I got the email saying it's gone through, but let's check my PayPal. Okay. That might help. Um, oh, I paid it, so yes, it has gone through. Okay, well, good deal. That is a good deal. Yes, uh, very well. Mm -hmm. Milk and honey uh, is will be here Wednesday. Um, again, uh, H.P. Lovecraft movie. Um, what is? I'll send him a uh, trailer of it, guys. Don't worry, I'll show him what it is. Thank you. Uh, thank you again for two You're years. <laughs> um, I don't do streams here often, obviously. <clears throat> there will be mm. streams on Twitch and on my main, uh, you know, channels. Um, hope to see you all there. Um, say goodnight, Leona. Good night, everyone. I won't troll you this time. See, I'm being nice. I'm okay. being friendly. I'm being Thank good. You. And oh, oh, yeah, that's it. I got a. I got a. Her mic's gone dead. Good night, everyone. Oh, yeah. No, stop. Oh.